I drink your milkshake. You are listening to the Billionaire Podcast Network. go welcome welcome to the show everybody this is corn fed with dalton Pruitt, only on the billionaire podcast network welcome you you want to add a little something to it so what was that you trying to add some guns some pew pews pew 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 we'll do like a like a sound effect at the end where it's like tang Oh, like a spittoon. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, we'll add a spittoon noise to it. <laughs> okay, let's try let's try it again. Billionaire Podcast Network. Ka-ching, bing, 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 ding, 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 fill her up. Ding. Ding. Okay. <laughs> I hope the mics pick that up. Yeah, we made a little spit noise. Man, we have no production. I got a guy who said he would produce this for us, but I don't know what that entails. And I don't know like if there's any it's way to cut. get I don't, yeah, I don't know if there's any way to get like better production over Zoom. We'd probably need to get <laughs> like, like turn your brightness up. Yeah, we'd probably need to get some sort of like OBS. I've been I've been told I need to update. Somebody reached out to me the other day and said like you need to get you need to update your OBS, your fine tune your OBS. And I was like, what's an OBS? I just use Zoom. And then they just laughed at me. And I was like, well, you didn't answer my question. I don't know what an OBS That's so is. Funny. So funny. time in high school, someone asked me if my shirt size was HB. And I was like, what's that? And they went, huge bitch. <laughs> husky boy. Yeah, Husky boy is more husky like it. Husky boy. Uh, that, that's the name of the show now, the Husky boys. The Husky Boys. Uh, now that Kevin is uh, back in the hospital, <clears throat> he yeah. might, he might not make it this time. He, he it might wasn't not a drive. it wasn't a car crash, but he was in his car and it got struck by lightning. He was eating Taco Bell in the parking lot. <laughs> he got struck by lightning. <laughs> yeah, came right through the window, knocked the gordita out of his hand. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't find the car until today. Happened on Friday. Yeah, <laughs> he gets... <laughs> we just it was only because uh... he had shit himself, and someone complained. <laughs> yeah, he, he he's been melted to the seat of his Honda with a gordita. I worked somewhere his... one time, and we found a body like that that had been out in the parking lot like all summer. What? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I worked somewhere, and someone died in the parking lot, and they did not find it like for <laughs> months. He was about to leak out of the fucking exhaust. <laughs> Oh, so, hey, it's just me and Sal this week, but Sal's yeah. here. So wait, where were you working? It was, there a, was, it was a hotel. <laughs> so it's a crazy because most people go to hotels to kill themselves in the room. <laughs> he couldn't afford the and room. This motherfucker is like, I can't even make it through check-in. He's like, fuck it. <laughs> he was like, I don't, have, I don't have a credit card to put on file. They won't let me. They won't let me. So I'm just going to kill myself in the car. <laughs> oh, man. It is crazy, though, man. People choose to do that because they don't want to tarnish their family homes, and then their wife has to move into, I guess, another guy's house. 
Well, yeah, so, there, so wait, there's people that go to hotels just to kill themselves? Yeah, specifically. Damn, that's the move, dude. Yeah. Let fucking Juanita clean this shit up. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> like, you <laughs> let, got anything on this uh, housekeeping cart for blood? Yeah, let, Gr- let Griselda fucking walk in here. And mm-hmm. Hey, Anita, with- we got more brains over here by the air conditioner. Mm-hmm. I would leave a tip. If I was yeah, gonna, I mean, yeah, if I was gonna kill myself in a hotel room, I like if I had any money, like you know, I would I would leave like a you know a couple hundred bucks even. <laughs> yeah, that would be backed up as evidence real quick. You uh, think so? Senor, I think the money was for me though. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like cleaning it up. No man. Oh, dude, if stuff. I was if I was a hotel maid and I found a dead like a guy who killed himself, and there was like Raid a couple them pockets, dude. Yeah, dude. I'm and then when, everything. when I get questioned, you don't know, no, I'm like, uh, English, no. You didn't have no luggage or nothing. This is quite I'm, a mystery. Your, your trouble hard. I miss, I must get back to work. Senor. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, damn, dude. I never, uh, yeah, I never worked anywhere there were, where there, anyone died like that. I mean, I worked at, when I worked at Home Depot, it was like my first <laughs> introduction to the, uh, the grist for the mill of capitalism, I, I suppose. They, they uh, cut that over there too. Grist, yeah, they make grist. They got, they got a capitalist mill. They have a cat, yeah. They have a capitalist mill at Home Depot. I always thought that was wood that I was smelling. The, no, that's, that's just pure <laughs> capitalism, brother. Um, I think that I think the CEO of Home Depot is like a pretty right wing, like shithead. He is like a pretty bad hombre. But that's the only way to get to the top. Do you ever get to the top of a company and you're like, yeah, they're actually a ginormous pussy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the only way. Like, I mean, you know, I've been thinking about that a lot lately. And that really is the only way to succeed in life is to be like a- obsessive and cutthroat and aggressive, you know, aggressive, just willing to fuck over anybody and everybody. Like even people that are willing to help you along the way. Just always keep it in the back of your mind that at some point you are going to have to step on their necks. Yeah, I mean, it's not always about being nice. And uh, it's going to be tough to tell, like, my kids and stuff. Like, you know, being nice is not everything. You got to be a little aggressive. Yeah, it's, like, it's like not enough to do the right thing and work hard. Because, yeah. like, if you try to just work hard and be a good person, you're just going to get exploited by a company. Mm-hmm. You have to be, like, a real scumbag and just willing to like set aside any sort of scruples and niceties in order to succeed. That's what we're doing here at the network. Oh, I think there's a customer in here. There's, there's a customer at the blockbuster you're in. <laughs> the blackbuster. The black. <laughs> oh man. The blackbuster. Yeah. You know, whenever uh, like people at work, they talk to me about raises and stuff. If I like them, I'll tell them the truth. I'm like, you're better off going to another company. They're like, why? You're going to get 10 cent raises here every year until you die. You're better off quitting, getting your resume together, and getting hired on it more somewhere else. Yeah, I don't know how people, I you know, I guess there's there's like a, a lot of people just don't have the intelligence or the fortitude or the like wit or like yeah. whatever, whatever like the sauce is that's needed to make real money. So they just have to stick it out at companies like that. But yeah. anytime, like getting when you're presented with that reality, when you're at a company and they're like, "Yeah, you know, every year you might be up for a twenty-five cent raise." If that, it's like, man, I've always been looking for the exits. It, like everywhere I've worked, I'm like, "Yo, fuck that!" I'll I can't be fucking, tell you how many jobs I had like that. Yeah, it's like I'll be fucking goddamned if I'm gonna work here forever and ever, and then like after twenty years, maybe be scraping the bottom of six figures. Fuck that, dude. I'll grift my way to the top. I'll, I don't give a fuck about integrity. I want money, dude. <laughs> I never forget. I was working at a place and I asked if they did holiday, anything for the holidays, for money, bonuses. They were like, oh, uh, yeah, you get a turkey. Like, dude, I'm, dude, I'm 19 and I don't even own a kitchen. I don't cook. I don't want a fucking turkey. Yeah, I, don't I want, want like 100 money. Bucks. Yeah, or like, a, you know, at least an Outback Steakhouse gift card. Something like, Something. yeah, give me a fucking turkey. I just gave it to Juanita. She's like, Oh, two turkeys. I was like, Yes, <laughs> two turkeys. Those turkeys you can have mine too. Yeah, dude. Or, yeah, that's why it's like, you know, everybody's getting hip to it. All these articles that come out, all these like stories where it's like, Nobody wants to work anymore. Why is that? And it's like, 
Well, the comp the companies ain't paying shit, and they're they're exploiting you even more, and the price of everything is going up. So everybody wants to be an influencer because there's yeah. more money in that, and you get to be your own boss. I mean, can you blame them? I like that's the thing is like if if the conditions were right, if if there was any sort of like stability or upward mobility, if there like if if like working for a place offered any amount of comfort it would be fine but it doesn't so it's like i guess i'll do tiktoks you know <laughs> that's a lot of people's plan b or their new goal in life is like i guess i'll just do tiktoks and see if i can make money that way it's definitely an avenue for people i mean <clears throat> they see it they see their friends do it or something you know kind of like yeah. this thing of ours this, this thing of ours you know we see a couple people make it and we're like oh yeah this is smart <laughs> it's. I mean, there, yeah. It's it, like the reality is, it's there. Like we've seen, you've seen enough. There's enough podcasts. There's enough like content success stories where people have found success doing like the most low effort, dumbest shit possible, and they're making like you know tens of thousands of dollars a month just because they have like the the retarded brazen confidence to put themselves out there. And then, you know, people glom onto it. Like, the, it's like exploiting the, the loneliness and desperation of the public. You know, it's, it's like, because, like, you know, it's entertainment, essentially. Like, it's in the same vein as yeah. entertainment. It's what is called content now. But, <clears throat> you know, as with, with anything entertainment, as long as there's an audience for it, there's money to be made. So, what you know... There's, that's always been the case. Like, ratings for a TV show, ratings for a podcast, number of downloads a month, all that shit. Yeah, and I mean, if you have a humble following, like, you know, and you're interacting, you gotta imagine the people that interact with, like, content creators gotta be, like, some of the dumbest people on the planet. That's who you're talking to. No, we are. We're the dumbest. <laughs> We're dumb. <laughs> no, I mean, like, the people that, like, are, like, constantly, like, you know messaging and like that i well don't don't talk about our don't talk about our paying customers i don't that mean way. like that i don't mean like subscribe i mean other I mean, other like, podcasts yes but not us no we have the yeah. smartest we have the smartest most um intellectual ass fan base out there the most oh, uh yeah. discerning our we, fans we, are cool yeah I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm boots on the ground. I talk to these people. They're good people. They're real people. They're not all stupid. Some are. Some are really stupid. Yeah. Um, and then some, you know, found success elsewhere, and they pay it forward. You know, they give us money. And I like that. That's pretty cool. But I mean, you know, you have to be retarded now. That's the point. You have to be. You have to be like exceptionally retarded these days to succeed. I'm borderline. Yeah, no, you you're just Ita well, you're Italian. Yeah. So this is the so default. I, the default makes me gifted. Yeah, the default setting for Italians is retarded. Mm -hmm. And so you have to like work your way, like you have to navigate the world as an Italian. You never heard that in Italian? What do you call an Italian with half a brain? What? He's gifted. <laughs> He's a gifted boy. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's that's the truth, man. Yeah. But yeah, you do. You know, you have to be really stupid now. Like, did you watch? Did you watch the Cat Williams interview on Rogan? Ah, uh, no, but I love Cat Williams. I love Cat Williams. He's the best, and he is yeah. really fucking stupid. Yeah, he is so dumb, and he, he's very quick witted, though, man. Like, he's he's really quick witted, and he's great, just like talking shit off the cuff. But I mean, for like that, the, the the three hours of that interview, he was saying like. Truly the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Just, just with like com total confidence and conviction, just saying saying stuff like, I know the truth of the pyramids. He's like, I know, I how know to the truth of the pyramids. He's like, I know the truth of the pyramids. The Emerald Tablets of the Anunnaki tell us that it was robots from space that done built the pyramids, Joe Rogan. Don't let people tell you that it was humans that built the pyramids. You ain't got no hair. This is a four hundred thousand dollar perm. You ain't even got hair. <laughs> yeah, he was just, dude. He was just saying like the most wally dumb shit I've ever heard. And that you know that one episode of that podcast, like three hours of just two guys who were stoned out of their minds, saying like just dumb conspiracy theory stuff. That one episode probably made like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Just yeah. those two guys talking shit together. 
And, and you know, meanwhile, well, there's people in the comments arguing about some dumb shit. Cat Williams said, like, no, what he meant was, and I'm just like, oh my god, like, what are you up to? Yeah, the thing, the thing that went like viral was he said that, um, ba- like transgenderism is the res- is like de- demonic because of Baphomet. Is something that something like Baphomet uh, that he knew transgenderism was going to become a thing because of Baphomet. And that's why you see so many tra- trans stuff now. I don't even know. I like. I truly think that he just saw a picture of Baphomet and like concocted this based on just seeing what Baphomet looks like. I don't think you Baphomet. know. I you know Baphomet. I mean, I'm thinking like, of uh, Balthazar from the Bible. No, Baphomet is like a. Uh, it's like a fucking occult symbol. It's like the the devil on the tarot card, the goat head with tits. That's what my grandpa calls the thing in the bathroom. Hey, you got to step on the Baphomet. <laughs> <laughs> the Baphomet. <laughs> no, Baph- Baphomet is like is like the the goat the devil the devil tarot card. The, it's like the the goat head with the tits and then the goat legs and it's doing. Do you believe the, in the devil? Do I believe in the devil? Mm-hmm. Uh, I live with him. He's my roommate. Did you ever dance with him? <laughs> I dance with him in the pale moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I've seen that before. Um, it's you just seen, all stupid. You've seen what Baphomet looks like. I don't know. He well, was that like, shit is stupid. Yeah, he was just like saying some shit like trans people are demonic because of Baphomet, and that's why people they they're calling people the goat now instead of sheep. And it's like, well, goat is an acronym for greatest of all time. It's just a coincidence that goat and then baphomet has a goat head like no it was he was like it was just like schizophrenic talk it was like shit that i encountered yeah. when i was in the psych ward that's how that's how like homeless people who the cops had to drag to a psych ward talk but cat williams makes like three hundred thousand dollars a night in whatever city he's in yeah do, doing arenas you know yeah so just sweating profusely just sweating in a suit that he must have fucking gotten from a literal leprechaun. Yeah, a twelve thousand dollar leprechaun suit. He's like a little green suit. Yeah, I give you, I give you three wishes if you give me my pot of gold back. I found this bitch at, a, at the end of a rainbow. Yeah, they should do that. They should cast Cat Williams as the new leprechaun. Yo, you know, and um, <clears throat> yeah, well, Marvel I mean, merge with like classic horror movies and it should be like freddy and jason versus like the hulk <laughs> sure. sure well they they already did two leprechaun in the hood movies leprechaun in the hood yeah i love those there's leprechaun in the hood and then leprechaun back to the hood and the con the comedy of those movies was the juxtaposition of like a medieval uh leprechaun monster interacting with you know, hood ass, black ass, uh, thug types, <clears throat> and, and you know the hijinks that ensue there. You know when he's trying to get his Hilarious. oh shit, trying to get his gold back from them. You know because oh, yeah, they ain't gonna get your gold back from them. Yeah, because they want to melt it down and make grills and chains out of it and rims for the uh, you know uh, Nissans. Yeah, um, also the 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 screens that go in the back of the headrests. Yeah, yeah. So there's a leprechaun. In the hood. So I guess I guess it would be kind of redundant to cast Cat Williams as a the leprechaun to do like a hood leprechaun movie with a like black hood leprechaun like that. Yeah, yeah, that would be. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, that wouldn't work. They should do. It's but how about how about movie. this? How about this? There was a, there was a tooth fairy. There was a tooth fairy with uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, and then there was Tooth Fairy Two. With Larry the Cable Guy, how about Tooth Fairy Three with Cat Williams? How about Tooth Fairy Three with with The Rock and Larry the Cable Guy? That's the movie that I need. Is them how two together on screen? Tooth Fairy, no, here, hear me out. Tooth Fairy Three, it's Cat Williams, and he's pimped out as the Tooth Fairy. You know, he's got he's got wings, but he's also wearing like you know wanna... Versace suits, <clears throat> and then he goes to like uh, like black kids' houses where the kids are losing their teeth. And the uh, the smoke alarms are chirping. Yeah, and, that's and actually he... how the that's how the kid sees him at first is the chirp, and the kid wakes up, and he's like, "Hello, little boy." Yeah, yeah. He goes, he goes, 
<laughs> yeah, he goes a plot there, you know. Yeah, he goes to black. He goes to black people's houses. The smoke alarms are chirping, and he's he's like, "What the hell is that noise? Y'all motherfuckers can't change the battery in your smoke alarm." <laughs> and so he actually, in, in like an an um, uncharacteristic act of benevolence, one night because he's so fed up with hearing these smoke alarm chirps in. in Oh, and by the way, like every house he goes to, instead of leaving money, he leaves food stamps under the pillow <laughs> for, for the team. <laughs> and then one night he he flutters up to the ceiling to put a new battery in the smoke alarm. And then the kid wakes up and sees him. <clears throat> and then any and then I guess it's it's also Santa Claus rules. So if a kid sees the tooth fairy, uh now that kid becomes becomes the tooth fairy now. And so Cat Williams has to train a young black youth how to be the new tooth fairy which is the be- the best thing that could have happened for him because because otherwise he would have you know lived a a life of crime you know what in, in, in your... tooth fairy three okay um to- tooth fairy three you got you got a subtitle for it get him to the grill two three three get him to the grill <laughs> <laughs> and it's both of them just with a pile of teeth with, with gold teeth smiling mm-hmm. that's yeah that's the movie anyway, yeah so that's that's the role cat williams should play i mean he hasn't been in a lot of movies and like a lot of the movies he's been in are fucking terrible yeah, he's just it's, that's just that's such a normal thing now to take a, a comedian and stick them in a movie and it's like do you know if they're any good like are you just gonna make a fucking He's a good he he's a funny actor. Like he's funny and he's a really funny comedian, but it's just like What's he been in though? I I he was in one of the he's in a couple of the Friday movies. Like Saving Private Ryan. Um Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> yeah, he also did a uh... Um He's been in like some movies. He's really good in it uh... in that TV show Atlanta. Like that's where he like I really saw his acting chops was in that TV show because he's like Made to he did episode of Nurse Jackie, I think. I think so. Yeah, this bitch higher than I am. Yeah, but he doesn't act a lot. I mean, there's no reason, really, no reason for a comedian that successful to act. I don't know, like no. why. I don't know why comedians want to act so much. Or it's fucking like, a... like Bill Burr, who just I don't know why he wants to just continue to embarrass himself. But he made this fucking <laughs> movie. It's so yeah. bad. I heard that movie sucked, dude. Come, like it's so bad. I didn't think it was going to be good. It, it didn't. No, look but I good. thought it would have like some kind of like like linear uh, structure to it, to where it's like it's just like bits and like situations where he's like, "Look at this! Can you believe this guy? Huh. Oh, fucking paper straw!" You know, and I'm like, "Okay, we get it." Like, you're yeah, that, and- that's what it, it that's what it looked like to me it was like stand up bits. The movie where it's like this just very like, paper thin plot, barely any real characters. Mm-hmm. And they're just doing like stand up premises at like each other. Like he, he he calls the kids principal <laughs> at his school a cunt, and everyone, all the parents are like, <gasps> and he has to like apologize. And he's they're treating it in the movie like it's some fucking liberal thing. And I'm like, no, dude, you would go to like they would call the police on you in real life, right? Like, I gotta apologize to these fucking snowflakes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know. Comedian, it's two two different worlds. Comedian, comedian, actor, screenwriter, all that shit's compartmentalized for a reason. These are all different skill sets. Podcasting, or you know, yeah. broad like even broadcasting is is different from stand up because you you know it's an extemporaneous you don't, know form of don't, uh. It, don't you start with that shit. <laughs> extemporaneous. Well, it's an extemporaneous improvised form of. Okay, give me the definition extemporaneous like long yeah. form, like like long i can't form. even guess like a long form uh discussion extemporaneous a dialogue a conversation it's like a, it's a conversation between one or more people i guess if it was just me by myself that's a monologue and then what you and i are doing and then if there's anyone else involved is that it's a dialogue and it's long form and it's not you know and it's all improvised we don't we don't have a fucking plan here and yeah. yeah, and it's it's its own skill set to be able to like extemporaneous, <clears throat> you know, to be able to sit down for like one to two hours a week, one to two hours of podcast, and just off the dome, come up there with you the, go. okay, 
yeah, off the dome. Off the dome. Come up with what the gold that we do to mm-hmm. to to do the to do the um creative alchemy of turning this- of turning the the lead that is our thoughts into the gold that is our bits. You think this lady's looking for a copy of Pootie Tang? I think so, yeah. <laughs> oh, you got gold bits? I have gold bits. Like gold member? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it's all those Austin Powers movies were all good and all funny, and I'm like, and they just stopped making them. Mm-hmm. Any other movie, they milk it until you so, can't stand it. Anymore. This was a big topic of discussion on The Loud Boys. We were obsessed with Austin Powers. <laughs> I love Powers. Austin Powers. <laughs> I love Austin Powers so much, <laughs> Yeah, and, and they were like some of the best movies of our childhood. They are so fucking good. <laughs> and they only get better with each one. Like, Goldmember is the best. Frow, lower the laser beam. How about no? You crazy <laughs> Dutch bastard. You crazy Dutch bastard. <laughs> oh, um, man. Goldmember rocks, dude. Yeah. Yeah, they just stopped <laughs> doing them. And then, then the only thing they did since then was. Doctor Evil and Frau and Number Two and all them. It was like it was like a GE commercial recently. Yeah, I need those movies back. So it's like art and art has been consumed by capitalism, and now we're seeing our yeah. beloved Austin Powers characters like shilling for fucking all general. The Sopranos characters have all been doing car commercials. General, like, yo, speaking of, did you see Adriana did like started OnlyFans and was able to like pay off her house in a day. I mean, that's whether that's what's going around the internet right now. What is going on with celebrities? Like, do they just not have money? <laughs> what um, is, or are they just like are they just like blowing I think through? OnlyFans their is really that lucrative if you're hot. Like, I know, no I know that, but like, wouldn't take ten naked pictures of yourself, post them online, and just collect, collect, collect without having to do anything. I right. mean, every now and then you got to update it. Right. You got to talk to somebody. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like it's like the novelty of like Adriana Laserva getting to see her titties and butt, I'm butt be cheeks. I don't she's not my type really. Adriana? She's hot. I get it. She's hot. I'm Dude, I was trying to her. clap Artie Bucco's wife's cheeks. Yeah, but like first of all, she's so Italian, so it's like for They're me all, I'm like Oh, how I'm about that crazy out. bitch at the Mercedes dealership? Yeah, she was hot. That was hot. Yeah, was hot. hottest girl on the show might have been Ralphie's. Uh, uh, the who? Yeah, yeah. And if she's a girl, well, name. I mean, the hot. I mean, so she like, could be a cocksucking slobbering whore like a mother. <laughs> the hottest, the hottest one on the show, and I get. I guess we can't really use. Oh early... no, no, Meadow, Meadow. Yeah, exa- that's what I was gonna say. Meadow, hands down. I was thinking all like. I've seen a me- like Meadow dancing in her underwear in front of Finn. Oh, on, Could have ended the show right there. And yeah, cut to the black. <laughs> cut the black right there, dude. <laughs> Best show ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Meadow is too fine. She still looks good, even though she's like got AIDS or something now. They have a podcast, and it's not terrible. Bad. It's bad. Really? Maybe because I'm just watching clips. You know. I don't know. I just hate Tom Segura now. So the fact that it's on his network, you know, I'm biased. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's on your it's on the your mom's house network. It's the fucking Meadow and AJ can't find jobs acting, so they have to do a uh, podcast. So they gotta do pizza reviews with their fucking they Dave gotta, Portnoy. Yeah, they gotta bring Dave Portnoy in to do a one bite challenge. You know. Yeah. I mean, like that's the thing. People like that, if they could actually get jobs acting, they wouldn't be doing a fucking podcast. But it's it's like what is what is, what is Meadow Soprano and AJ Soprano gonna do after the Sopranos? Like they they were never they like they here's the thing, they were never good actors. Like they fit that show because of what was being written for them and like the the strength of everyone around them. Meadow and AJ, J- Jamie Lynn, what's her name? Jamie Lynn Siegler, Siegler. and and Robert Eiler were fucking terrible actors. So like er- everything that was being written for them was written to match their skills as yeah. actors, and then it's like James Gandolfini and Edie Falco and everyone else that was in scenes with them together were making them look good, but yeah. they it's suck. Like, they like suck the as actors. Office. It's like the like some of the background people in the office, like the more the smaller people, like the well, they weren't very small, but like Phyllis and fucking. Yeah, well, yeah, like, well, it's it's like Phyllis and Stanley and Kevin and yeah. like all those characters, 
those were they were like seasoning on the show they were they weren't like yeah you're like set pieces you're yeah like, they what they were given to do worked really well for the show but it was with Meadow and AJ. yeah but it was it was like the the stars of the office were i don't know jim and michael and pam and hey, dwight jim, yeah Very and good. whatever i don't know i fucking hated that show it, it but, got old I, like when i started it for a couple seasons i'm like this is great and then i'm like it makes you hate it itself. I liked watching it go off the rails. Like yeah. when they brought in James Spader, I just <laughs> oh, I was yeah. like, okay, this is it's fun to watch this just disintegrate James week Spider. to week. His name was uh, on the show was uh, Robert California. Robert California. Yeah, like that's supposed to be hilarious. Well, they did. I mean, they just couldn't stop making the show. They do like what so many sitcoms do, where it's and like. Well, your main the reason people are tuning in, your main character is leaving. Now would be a good time to end this fucking show, and they just couldn't do it. They were like, "No, we'll just we'll bring in um, James Spader." I like James Spader. I think he's a great actor. What is going on, Sal? You talking to your wife? I just had had to ask if everything was all right out there. It's like a combat Um, zone. But um, yeah, yeah, Meadow and AJ. They suck. Is that they were never good actors? But my original point is that Meadow still looks pretty good, even though she has AIDS. Yeah, the uh, back to our original point. Meadow's hot as shit. Yeah. Big um, what? Wait. What is? What is wrong with her? She doesn't have AIDS. What, she's what got. Is, um, she's got a dumb bitch. Dumb bitch disease. Yeah, and her fucking eyes are too big. You know who she's married to. I think she's married to like Lenny Dykstra's son. You know Lenny Dykstra, that baseball player who was like constantly going to prison. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's like she's married to his son. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Siegler met Abraxas. <laughs> what? <laughs> Abraxas? Is she married to a fucking alien? Abraxas AJ Descala when she was 19. I thought that was the disease, Abraxas. Yeah, Yeah, she came down with a case of Abraxas. They sent it to her in the mail. (laughs) She got the Abraxas powder. Yeah, it was all over. (laughs) No, Abraxas AJ Descala. I heard it come all over the sun visor. (laughs) When she was 19 and he became her manager. They began dating shortly before she turned 21 and married on July 11, 2003. She subsequently changed her name to Jamie Lynn Descala. They separated in September 2005, and she resumed resumed using her maiden name. She then dated restaurateur Scott Sartiano from 2006-2008. Man, this bitch loves Italians. But she's not even Italian. She's a Jew broad, isn't she? I don't know. Yeah, Sigler, right? Yeah. None of her name's not Italian. She, Sigler is of Sephardic Jewish descent through her. Oh, she might be a Zionist. Uh oh. Are we going to have to boycott the fucking shitty podcast? <laughs> shitty Meadow and AJ podcast? Yeah, they're pro Israel. Sigler is of Sephardic Jewish descent through her father and of Cuban descent through her mother. Um, well, he didn't marry a nice Jewish girl. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Do my cousin, like, is, uh, engaged to an Italian and I'm like I just couldn't imagine like marrying another Italian oh dude it would be Come that on. would be too much yeah I mean yeah, it happens I, all it happens all the time in your community like Italians it does, but I'm just I could not imagine doing that it's just like yeah Italians love to keep it in the family a oh, paisan so it says here that in January 2016 Sigler Revealed that she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Oh man, she got both of them. Damn, she got both sclerosis. She got multiple. She got multiple sclerosis. She got multiple sclerosis when she was twenty. You know, if it was at least single, that would be a con. You know, a bit of a consolation. But right, she got right. multiple sclerosis. She got folks. <laughs> she heard she died of different strokes. <laughs> <laughs> So she she got diagnosed with MS when she was twenty, so that's that's why she looks kind of fucked up now. I mean, <clears throat> she can get it. Yeah, she still looks good. Put a pillow under her hip, you know. How old is she now? 
Oh god damn, dude, she's forty two. My my wife just showed me her tits. So Busted. That just her, happened over there. Your wife showed you her tits or Meadow yeah. Soprano's tits? No, her own. Oh, your actually, wife showed you her own tits. Nice. Equally as good as Meadow's tits. <clears throat> Better, sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep on the couch. <laughs> That's a compliment. It, it's a compliment. Better. Does your wife has your wife seen Meadow Soprano? Uh, yeah, but I'm trying to. I'm not I'm trying gonna... to join Kevin tonight at the. Uh, the oh, at the, at the at the hospital. At the hospital. The hospital yeah. After he was found in his car having been struck by lightning. Yeah. Because he was eating so, Taco Bell. Yeah. He was eating Taco Bell in his Honda. Cotton yeah. seats. Cloth seats, not even leather. <laughs> the lightning burnt the shit out of the seats, dude. Oh man! <clears throat> and it did that thing like when you when you light like something on fire with the flame just went. Pfft. Yeah, yeah, it created like a tree, like a tree branch, like a root. Mm-hmm. Looks like roots. Kevin was like, "Oh, <clears throat> cool." Mm-hmm. Damn, Sal, you shaved. You look smooth. I look good, right? Yeah, you look like a. You look like you should be a cop now. You have a cop's I always wanted dead. to be. You're <laughs> such an Italian. I always wanted to be, but I just, uh, I like getting high. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Being a cop is, can't, you can get drunk as shit as a cop. You can go to work, like, pretty much drunk. Trust me, bro. I've already made, I made the argument to my parents, you know, as a kid getting in trouble, be seeing alcohol everywhere, being like, how is this okay? What I'm doing, not okay. I, dude. I mean, it's, you know, that's the question because the booze is, dude, we, I mean, we saw it going to comedy clubs, like the amount of fucking idiot comedians that would hang at an open mic, Mm -hmm. mind you, at an open mic where nobody's even making money. It's not even like a fun time necessarily. It's just, it's just a stone. They would be, it would be a great time. Right. But it's, it's like, it's an open mic. So it's, it's like, it's already a den of despair. And then everybody's like overpaying for whatever drinks are being served at the bar. Like it's like a seven dollar Corona, yeah. and they're just get dude. They would just get shit hammered drunk. Like all those guys at hyenas would get wasted at a Wednesday open mic. Did and Asher then, Allen call the fucking manager of the N word. Yeah, Asher <laughs> Allen. Yeah, Asher called the door guy who was black at the time. Called him a hard R N word. And then, like, six weeks later, was like his ban was over. Like, he got banned. Yeah, sure. And, ban. then, and then, six weeks later, they, they were like, Asher, we need you. We need you back. We need your fucking hack jokes for the weekend. We need you to come do your fucking DMX bit br- talking about play guitar this weekend. <clears throat> yeah. We need, we need you to do your joke about a song that hasn't been relevant in 15 years. Um, but I am barely breathing. <laughs> I'm barely breathing. <laughs> I can smell your ass. <laughs> My brother just got turf put in his backyard. Your brother just got uh, turf. Turf, yeah. Like fake grass. Nice. It's a real, it's a real rich guy flex. Mm-hmm. I like sod, like a St. Augustine sod. I like sodomy. <laughs> <laughs> I like sodomy. Dude. I love butt fucking. <laughs> I love butt, butt. I like, well, it's fun to watch. In practice, it's kind of gross. You know, yeah. I think we've no, talked I mean, about that. Like the difference between like the fantasy of what you watch in porn versus re- like what you would actually do in real life. It's like, it's so common now in porn for. It's like it's almost like a prerequisite is like required in every porn you watch for the woman to get sodomized. <laughs> like yeah, it's just my other pussy. Yeah, it's it's like every dude like most porn clips I click on is <laughs> it's her other pussy. <laughs> my other pussy. What are you talking my about? My other pussy. Oh. It's pussy. Yeah, pussy Uncle A, pussy Uncle B. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Butthole? What are you talking about? This is my this is my second pussy. Yes. Ask the ask the other pussy. <laughs> <laughs> ask it's what's for dinner. It's it's other... You don't have two dicks, you weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I had a dream in the seventh grade that I had two dicks, mm-hmm. and I never forget it. That was and I went dream. to school and I told my friend, and he was like, "Side to side or one on top of the other." <laughs> 
Fuck yeah. Longitudinal or lateral? They were, it was one on top of the other, though. Like, <laughs> if you edit side to side, you have to be like, hold on. <laughs> well, I think the guy with two dicks, that's how I, Who is this? Who the, fuck is, who the fuck is this? Who is this? Is this our guest? Are you pretending to not know who it is? Like, I, dude, I don't know who this is. <laughs> hey, man. I don't, I don't you, think that's who it says it is. That's not. Do you see what your display name is? Yeah, dude. Can we change that? <laughs> yeah, you got to. You, uh, hold on. Can hold I? On. <laughs> hold, on, hold on. Let me just go on Instagram real quick. Stop. Uh, <laughs> I I okay, I, I, I changed it. Do you need? Do you need me to edit that? No, it's no big deal. Don't worry about it. What's okay. up, Bob? Sorry, I fell asleep. I knew it was gonna happen. Uh, I drank way too much booze last night and went on stupid Brennan's podcast. No, you're good, man. Thanks for uh coming in on short notice. I know we were, we were gonna have you next week, but then uh there's a it's a scheduling issue and i'm being unprofessional so thank you for no it's it's totally cool man uh you know i I, stancil works at a comedy club now it's and stanford the so the the, uh, stanford comedy ball uh comedy store so whatever uh the new york comedy club in connecticut yeah, that's that's why we call we call the soccer because Brennan loves to say that Stanzo works at a soccer ball store, so we call it the soccer ball comedy club. <laughs> soccer ball store. Mm. Well, mm-hmm. he used to. He, I mean, he was a manager at a at a hockey store. I can say that now for years. And, mm. you know, they will always call it. I just woke up. Obviously, fucking. You're good. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. So we've been talking about some titties. I mean, Dalton, you've been on fucking fire, bro. Like on Twitter, your tweets have been nonstop hilarious, dude. I yeah. Well, but by the way, folks, we're we're joined by our guest. Uh, fifty minutes into the show, uh, <laughs> we got ski ski mask here from Ski Mask Collective. Uh, I've been on your show a few times. You're you joined us at the right time. We were just talking about sodomy. We were talking yeah, about uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about how to, what it would be like to have two dicks and two and what it would be like to have two penises. Uh, because Sal, Sal, by the way, this is Sal, Sal, meet Ski Mask, Ski Mask, Sal. Yep. Nice to meet you, Sal. Blockbuster, <clears throat> Sal. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Blockbuster, Sal. Or Hollywood yeah. Video, Sal. Uh, no, no, it's, it's Blockbuster. <laughs> yeah, I see Mo- the sun. movie gallery. <laughs> yeah, all that. Um, but yeah, we were, well, what we, we, we were discussing is like, you, you like ski mask, you probably have, no, have this same sort of, um, you know, experience where there's like the fantasy of what you watch in porn, you know, you could see all manner of wonders in porn, but then like what you would actually do in real life, like what you're actually interested <laughs> in sexually is, no well, I mean, that's bit... than a rape fantasy. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a great thing because, well, no, not the rape fantasy, but uh, I don't know if you guys have watched J Mac's performance, but mm-hmm. he loves to fold them like books. And, yeah, he uh, does the full Nelson. Yeah, so it's I tried amazing. to do that in real life once, and it's just not, it's not fun. You know, no. You, you, you put the guy the... would let you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, then you try to do that, you're like, this is way too much work. So even two cocks, like you said, would be too much work. I don't think I have enough, like, penis to do the full Nelson move. Like, I don't... What if you just had two small dicks? I think... (laughs) Just put these together somehow. You go to the doctor, like, anything, anything. If you... Yeah, dude, what a... Yeah, that would suck to be born with two cocks and they're both tiny. (laughs) (laughs) Just two useless cocks. And it's just like, every time you piss, it just makes a mess because you got streams. They're like... That would be not... That'd be when plastic surgery would be necessary. It's like, please make one of these big, sir. Dude, lop off one of these cocks. Like, well, Dude, lo- lop cock? off my penis. That's They're like, sir, do you just lop. want one small cock or two? Obviously. <laughs> oh, <laughs> speaking of, Dude, by the way, by the way, I've, I have, man, this is like kind of out of character for me. I have never done this before. But the other day, uh, a friend, uh, I don't know if I should name her. But she's been on the show, so audience, you know, do do a little do a little detective work on this one. She sent she sent me a nudie video and was like, "Don't show this to anybody." But here's a, you know here's a nude video, and it's like her tits and kind of you know some of the pussy. 
Yeah, like so, so, what do you mean some of the pussy? Like the hood. Like it's like it's like it's like <laughs> a, yeah, the hood. Yeah, Same like the it. well, yeah, like the mound, like the top of the mound. <laughs> yeah, like the the pitcher's mound on the pussy. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the knuckle. Batter up, and um. <laughs> So she sent me this video of her jiggling her tits and showing me the the mound, or the it pussy was just a mound. Close up of her armpit. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, look, Dalton, I'm naked. And so <laughs> and so I responded. I was like, yo, some big ass titties. And she was like, oh, thank you. And I go, and, and just like I was like, uh, do you want to? I was like, do you want a nut video? And she was like, yes, come shot with the sound on, for me no. and no, and no one else. So I <laughs> so I sent her a video of me. Like like the the last few seconds of me jacking off and just like busting all over myself, and it's just all you hear, like in the video all you hear is me going, oh, oh, of course, like, yeah. like we like wheezing like, <laughs> <laughs> like when Vern Troyer was throwing up on the surreal. Yeah, and, and then and then I, and then I came and then I came all over my stomach and then I went, oh, <laughs> and, and then what, that, what was her response? Because I've I've done this before. Yeah, so I I sent the video and then I and then I said there's more where that came from. And then she just (laughs) and she just never responded. (laughs) Oh man, please don't leave me all red on this one. Oh that's yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, so then the next the next day I just was like, Man, I hope you weren't joking when you said yes to that. And she was like, Oh she was like, OMG, no. And I was like, I don't really know where I stand on this. Wait, but, um, it doesn't make it any better. Yeah, it was yeah. like she said. I wasn't joking, but I still don't have a response. There was, there was <laughs> nothing about what I sent was attractive at all. It was like the most unflattering thing I've ever done. It was really disgusting. But it made. I, it, I mean, I'm still disgusted. I did it myself. I did it to a uh, in a mirror. So what I did, I had the camera down, and then I panned up right when I busted load, and it went all wow. over the mirror and uh, cock panned. out all that stuff. Yeah, so. The chick, but that I got a different Tarantino response. Shit. The chick I did it to said uh, that was the hottest thing she's ever anyone's ever sent her, and I go, "Who's anyone?" And then she never responded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it's yeah, it's it's like I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I I deleted the video, but once you send something, it's still there. It's, you know, it's, it's still like there. They, uh, yeah. yeah, you're putting yourself in like a really precarious position. It's like like I don't like already. I don't have a big penis. So it's it's our she already has like video evidence of my small penis, and then just me busting the most like pathetic load because it was probably like the fifth time I jerked off that day. <laughs> so it's just it's just dribbling out like there's nothing behind it. Well, Dalton, I mean, I I think we're around the same age. I mean, getting older, it's it's hard to jerk off now. Like sometimes I have to go to the couch to jerk off. And, and no, I I don't have any issues jerking off. It's just like I'm I'm a porn addict, so. I'm just like, especially like with, with the way my day is structured where I mostly do nothing all day. Like I have a fake job. So I'm just like sitting there mostly doing nothing. And then I just get this compulsion where it's like, I just need to jerk off right now. So I'm busting <laughs> at least three nuts during a shift. And that's not yeah. including all, you know, off the clock nuts. Yeah. So well. you do work, you work, work jerks. Yeah. I do work jerks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, yeah I, sure. I have a pretty busy job and, uh, I, I get some work jerks then too, buddy. So some work jerks. what do you yeah. what do you guys bust when you do work jerks? Like uh like say you're on the job side. Have you ever busted in a porta potty per se? No. Yeah, I lean over and I lock my office door. Where's the weirdest <laughs> place you guys have ever done a good jerk? Because I thought it was I, I yeah. Well, I thought it was funny when I was coming up because I used to work on boats. Uh, I yeah. tried to do jerks on any piece of moving equipment. So I've done train jerks, Ooh. boat jerks. Uh, I haven't got. I have. I've done airplane jerks. I haven't gotten to do helicopter jerks. Uh, yet. Everyone's not a good airplane jerk. Yeah, airplane jerks easy. I mean, you get bored as hell on a five-hour flight. Coming the dispenser. Yep, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what you bust. One hundred percent. I yeah, I've jerked off while driving. I've jerked off in in like a a library bathroom. Library Um, bathroom. Oh, while you're waiting for the doctor. Oh yeah. In the in the doctor's office when the yep. after the nurse checks you in, but when you're waiting for the doctor to come in. You know you have a good ten minutes. They've mm-hmm. never disappointed on that. Yeah, and there's no sign that says you can't. 
Right. I've been, right. I've been to doctors' offices. No smoking, offices. you know, all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, I've been, been to doctors' joke. offices. They're like, no smoking, no vaping, turn your right. cell phone off. I don't see a, I don't see a single sign that says don't jerk off in here. I thought you needed a sample. Sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I thought we were doing a, a. Yeah, I thought I was getting all my uh, my fluids checked. <laughs> I got some. I got some piss for you too. <laughs> Every time. Um. Yeah. Jerking. Jerking off is just one of those things that's funny because you're right, Dalton. Uh, when you get the urge to do it, uh, then you're ready to ready to go. Oh, you dude. Know? I, I mean, because you, you don't think about nothing else until the it, it's, comes out. It's, yeah, it's like it's like I, I I'm like pretty glad that I'm still youthful in that way because I still have that where I'm like if it if the urge strikes me I just can't like I was like I have to jerk off. Yeah. Well, I saw Dalton. I saw you post something the other day on Twitter. You posted the the thing about uh, taking the Benadryls uh, with the masked man. Uh, let's and talk. So- yeah, I take Benadryls nightly. I take a lot of them, and I've seen that guy. I how, have seen that Wait, man. wait, wait, Schema, how many are you taking tonight? <laughs> uh, six. I take six, but it's time to go to sleep. Six yeah. pink, like pink Benadryls? Yeah, yeah, six to the pink means, uh, so, you know, you buy the sleeping pills. The so 50s. that's 300 milligrams. Uh, to, to go to sleep. But Benadryl, once it kicks in, you see the masked hood man, and Benadryl. The hat reason, man. I, yeah, the hat man. I don't know if it does it to you, Dalton, but Benadryl makes me uh, incredibly fucking horny. Yes, whenever. well, that's yeah. So that's that's the fat dose, like where you're. But then at... I then I leave bed because my girls are a period. She don't want to fuck, so I leave bed and I have to go to the couch to to beat off. Yeah, so so where you're at, three hundred milligrams is the around. It's, it's like anywhere from three three hundred to seven hundred is like the window for the fat dose. Yeah. So that's where you're getting like real horny, and your nuts are just explosive, dude. Dude, it's dude, like, dude. It, they are. I mean, why? I, 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 I don't bust know. all over the racks. I don't. I, I have no idea. It's been doing. I've been taking Benadryl for since I was 22, and now I'm 29. By the way, you should absolutely stop doing that. You're gonna, you're gonna get dementia. <laughs> I think I already have it. I yeah, the, I because I. Can't. I I, you know, it's like, I'm speaking from experience, like having done this myself, like you, I used to take like fistfuls of Benadryl regularly, like way more than six. Oh, I fucked around. That, that, that makes yeah. your legs where you, where you feel like you, you can't, you need to yeah. constantly stretch. And yeah. You, you get re- you get like restless leg syndrome and you're yep. breathing, uh, your breathing gets fucked up. Your heart is like, just like, do, 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 do. Yes. And 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 then you see you know you see the hat man you see spiders and centipedes and worms. I mean, I laughed my balls off when I saw you post that because I go, holy shit! I thought I was the only guy that saw the hat. No, man. yo, dude, if you go to if you go to reddit.com slash r slash dph diphenhydramine dph, yeah, it's like every day there's at least twenty new posts of somebody going, I can't. For, like I hate this feeling, but I can't stop taking a thousand milligrams of Benadryl every night, and I'm like, my life is in dis- is in ruins, but I can't stop taking Benadryl. And then it'll just be like a ton of comments that are like, "Hey, I'm right there with you, buddy." Like, but it's really bad for you. But it's just it's just like tons of people sharing their stories of like, I don't understand why I'm addicted to this thing that makes me feel like shit every night. It does That's make you feel wild. like shit, but you sleep so good. Like especially if you're an alcoholic like myself. Uh, do i have to be up know. in the morning <laughs> yeah i gotta well yeah i gotta be up in the morning that's so that's i that's why you sent me that where you're like eight o'clock is so late for me because you're just fucked up on benadryl <laughs> well no no i haven't i haven't taken them yet because my lady she she works so she's actually on her way home i probably have to bounce when she gets here uh but Sorry, it's been uh, no, I, no, sorry, Bubs. Uh, you guys are welcome i you know the, i wasn't even booked for today it was for the 10th and i was gonna plan ahead. you yeah, we, uh, look, I, no, we're gonna have it, you and Stancil on. We're gonna do it up real nice. Through it, it's it's hard. To, it's hard to get Stancil. Uh, he works at the comedy club on Sundays, so yeah, you're gonna he's have selling to selling out. <laughs> stand up is gay, by the way. Stand up is stand, gay. Stand up is gay. It's one of the gayest things in the world. It really and it's it's so like fruit. It's such a fruitless endeavor for the most part. With like the way people's sensibilities are now like there's a lot of people that still respect it as like an art form but i don't think it was ever to be respected i think it like well, you know it, ha- it has its origins in, in like mafia run strip clubs so it's already like but by, by definite like the origins of it the root of stand-up is just like the grimiest people you're welcome 
by the way. Yeah, you're, thank you. <laughs> From the but, Italian you know, community. But it's it, it only goes back like 60 or 70 years, and it was just like scuzzballs yeah, who weren't even like who weren't even tough enough to be in the mafia, but also didn't want to work a real job. That just were like, hey, can I do? Can I tell jokes before the strippers come on stage? And so that's well, I mean, where this. I, I was listening. I was listening to Robert Kelly, and he brought up a great point where it's like you see bands and uh, these music guys. They can't sell a stadium. They can't sell out clubs. But now all of a sudden, everyone wants to see stand up. I mean, look at guys like Shane Gillis uh, who are coming out of the woodwork and they're selling out. Uh, you know, it, I don't know, but you're right. The guys that make it make it. And Dalton, I mean, you were you were close, and I I feel like Luis J. Gomez just kind of put you through the fucking woodwork. I don't, and, I don't know uh, how close I was with stand up to be like to be honest with you. You're a funny dude. I am funny. Well, yeah, you. I mean that that's irrelevant in stand up. Like, to, to, yeah, that's very irrelevant in stand up. <laughs> right, but right. like, I I was not there. I was not getting booked for much of anything regarding stand up. It was like I found my audience and found any what anyone might think of as success through you know, podcasting and just doing stuff on the internet. And then that didn't translate much at all to actually getting booked to do stand up. So I, don't, I mean, I, I moved from Texas to the East coast to do stand up, and uh, I opened up for Shane Gillis at the stress factory in Bridgeport and same, it didn't do shit for me. I, you know, I, I make one doing my podcasts, the same thing I could have been doing uh, still living in East Texas. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it, it, they do kind of go hand in hand. I'm, we're, you know, I guess we're having the co- conversation that so many have had, where it's like the podcast helps your stand up, and the stand up helps your podcast. You know, stand up is gay. I mean, stand up <laughs> is gay. So, I mean, even I Brennan it. says yeah. it all the time. Brennan stopped doing stuff. Brennan's making two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year podcasting. Why the fuck Who? should he leave his Kevin? Kevin? Brennan. Oh, yes. wow. why would he? Why would he leave his apartment and go do stand up? <laughs> yeah. Why go? I mean, he's passed at the cellar. You know, he's one of the biggest. He's all. He was on SNL. I know. Uh, like, we. Stuff. I think we, I've talked about Kevin on something recently, whereas like he had every like by every metric success that a lot of people in New York they're trying to do stand up would like kill their own grandmothers for, and right. he just couldn't help himself. He just couldn't help but be a, a little too salty. I mean, burn he's up. always salty. He talks shit. I mean, he he just got in a <laughs> fight with. He just almost uh, got in a brawl with Bob Levy. He's gotten attacked by Gary Goldman. He's gotten attacked by Robert Kelly. Uh, almost got his ass handed to him by, I forget the African-American's name that was on his show, Jimmy Martinez. Yeah. Was yeah, Ke- uh, Kevin's just a shit stir, so like. Oh, yeah, he, and he loves it. And, 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 and what's funny is, you know, his brother, meanwhile, is writing Chappelle's show. I mean. All that stuff. So, it, you know, Kevin's a talented dude, but you're it's right. So, I, 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 it's so funny that they're brothers. It's like, <laughs> I can't even, like, reconcile that in my mind because they're so it's, fucking they're polar different. Op- they're polar opposites. It's yeah. So like, Sal, do you know who we're talking about? Kevin, Kevin. Brennan. Kevin Brennan. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know who that is. He's a, he's a really funny comedian. I've seen him do stand-up. He's, like, really good at stand-up. He just he just has such a like dog shit attitude. <laughs> like he just burns every bridge, like that's to true. the point where like now nobody really wants to work with him. Like, that's why he he actually had a show on Compound Media called Burning Bridges. Yeah, uh, and, yeah and, I remember like a few years ago there was a Forbes article about him. There was like yeah he got a write up in Forbes about like this is the guy who isn't afraid to talk shit about other comedians. Well, then, then he, he went all over, uh, he was in TMZ like a month or two ago, whenever Matthew Perry overdosed in a hot tub, and all Brennan did was retweet it and go, ha, 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 ha who dies in a hot tub? <laughs> and, and, and the article was like, oh, late comedian uh, laughs about actor's death. Yeah. Yeah, so, but somebody, somebody did tell me he was making pretty good money. Like, you're not the first yeah, person yeah. telling me he's making good money. Podcasting. I know what he makes. I mean, I mean, my entire show uh, started as MLC Wrap Up, Misery Left Company Wrap Up Show. So last night, I decided to be a great idea to buy a keg <laughs> and float it on my own show. So I did three <laughs> and a half hours, and then somebody in my chat said, Hey, Brennan's Snipe streaming you. I don't know if you're familiar with Snipe streaming. It's uh, something these guys are doing where they do their own show. And then they share screen on your show. So I was like, oh, Brendan Snipe streaming me. So then I joined uh, his show. But I thought it was kind of was... cool that, that Kevin was Snipe streaming me, uh, getting absolutely blasted. Yeah, but it was a mini keg of Heineken, wasn't it? 
It was a mini keg of Heineken. I, yeah. I like to call it a keg because most people <laughs> don't have the fucking guts to drink even that much. It's funny. I could drink a mini keg of Heineken in like 20 minutes. Are you a drink? Do you drink, Dalt? No, not anymore. But when I did drink, I I could put them back easy. Beers, yeah. but like beers, I could like on a on a night where I'm really drinking, which was like most nights. <laughs> I could I could put back like thirty Keystone Lights, no problem. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah. So we're both the same. I mean, we we're both from the same area of the country, and uh, yeah, it's, fun- it, it, it's it's funny when I moved here, people don't understand how how easy it is to drink that much. Even even like parts of because te- I I remember like growing up in rural texas where it's just kind of like all you had to do was drink and then like going to college in like an actual city and just people drinking so differently where it's like oh you're not you're not drinking 40 beers tonight that's that's not how (laughs) it's like what do you mean we're going out for one or two yeah yeah that the the idea of like just drinking like a few drinks to catch a buzz and feel loose and then stopping was like I never figured that out. Like I just had to Yeah, because drinking. you're an alcohol you're not we're both alcoholics. I mean, you 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 don't stop till you drop. I mean, it, it, you don't. Yeah. It was it, like for me it was it, like I it was common for me to black out. Like most yeah. nights that I drank, it was like I'm going to if I'm still conscious, then I'm I'm there's still more to then, drink. Then, then pour me another, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that was like drinking in Texas, and then like up north in the, like in the northeast, those cities up there. Yeah, is well, I mean, drinks are very expensive, but also like right, just the culture right. so of you drinking. Gotta, you got to have the pocket. Uh, yeah, the culture of drinking doesn't exist up here like it does in Texas. No, yeah, it's it's very different. Everybody up here loves to smoke, get high, and you know everything smells like That's weed. Not I, I'm not a weed guy, but uh, no, I'm I can't I can't do anything anymore. Like ever since I had my shit go down, the doctor do was <laughs> the, the doctor told me like, yeah, you might die if you ever like do this again. So don't ever do that. Um, so now I just you know I stick to Coke Zeros, Pepsi Zeros, but. I think we're supposed to. Did all y'all's be... moms uh, smoke when they were pregnant with you guys too? No. Yes. My mom didn't have a cigarette until she was like in her late forties. She didn't my like. Mom, my mom didn't have uh, less than a pack of smokes a day. No. Shout out to Crystal Pepsi, by the way. Yeah, shout out to Crystal. Well, we're supposed to be boycotting Pepsi because they support Israel or some shit. Did Dylan Mulvaney or something put a Pepsi can up his ass? No, her ass. Hilarious. Her ass. <clears throat> yeah, what's with guys putting uh putting cans up their ass? I mean, um, you ever seen that dude that put like a jar of Smuckers up his ass? And no exploded? shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, yeah. that so was one, the one, one man, one jar. One man, one jar. And I'm I I what I w- have been told is the reason it shattered was because there was nothing to counterbalance the pressure <laughs> that farted? is. That his ass was putting on the the jar was empty. <laughs> he just fucking farted. Like, hey, listen, listen, what this sounds like. Oh, this fucking shattered. <laughs> it was like when an opera singer hits that whistle tone and it shatters the glass. <laughs> he farted and it was th- the note was too high. I <laughs> just fucking jam. Starts no, I out. what I what I was told is that it, because the jar was empty, there was nothing to oh, like, counteract the pressure. Sense. Yeah, that, that, is, that it, makes sense or counterbalance the weight. So it just yeah. it shattered immediately when his tailbone and everything became in line. And uh, yeah, when you watch that, it's just uh, it's terrifying. You can't look at a jar ever the same again. No, yeah, I can't. I can't drink out of a mason jar anymore. You know, uh, <laughs> it's crazy how all those jars are like perforated on the bottom, like the uh, like the jar. A jar of there's no smooth bottom jar. They get the ridges on the bottom. Yeah, ridges, so it don't yeah. so it don't slide. You know, yeah. Before so the gra- it before, well, no, and before granite countertops came out, uh, it would perfectly. Like you said, counterbalance on the wood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, what are you so di- What are you so distracted about, Dom? Yeah, Sal's you know? been Sal. Enough with the dabs. Enough. What are you, do- what are you I doing? Even done it though. You keep yeah. looking down. Well, you're, what, what? you're over there doing like Breaking Bad science to try and get this dab cooking. What's your favorite flavor, Gatorade? <laughs> uh, probably <laughs> Frost and uh, strawberry something i forget the Mm-mm. name of it Mm-mm. it's color is not flavors you already colors. you already you failed the colors. you failed the test colors colors <laughs> colors i am a nightmare walking psychopath talking mm-hmm. that's gatorade uh you know you should you should have just said red yellow 
Or, well, no, he said dude. flavor. He said can, flavor. Right. Can you believe I asked my staff that in a fucking in a meeting. Oh yeah, you texted me that. You asked all the. I gathered everyone together to ask. Like, all right, really important guys. <laughs> what's your favorite flavor, Gatorade? And eighty percent of them don't speak English, so it had to be translated. And well, uh, I mean, they were all did... like, uh, "The yellow, <laughs> <laughs> the the red." <laughs> do you look down at your hands and this. do you look down at your hands the whole time when you're having a meeting with them? No, sorry. Okay. No, that's not, that's fine. What is that a reference to? Because uh, I'm getting that... high. He oh. just keeps looking down at the contraption. Yeah, I'm, so, just, I'm envisioning him trying to host an actual meeting. By the way, by the way, this is why this is why every video I upload gets flagged for to not be monetized because we're doing you know you're smoking you dope. You're smoking you dope on the me. show. Dude, you're wrong? smoking weed, bro. Go What's to the smoking dope, dope on the show. You're okay, why don't you guys dope. get blackout drunk and take Benadryls and shit? That's not I'm illegal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, matter of fact, I can go to the store and buy both things right now to make me do those. I can yeah, go I buy bet. two oil cans of Fosters and a bottle of Benadryl <laughs> and, and Dude, drink the oil can Fosters. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I, the haven't can, about, the I haven't thought about Fosters in years. <clears throat> My dad always drank it. The only Fosters. time I ever drank the oil can was uh, I was on a cruise ship in a hot tub. And that was That's the only, only way to drink it. I like. The whole point of drinking Fosters is that can. I never understood. Like it looks drink. ridiculous. That's the. Yeah, you're, you're right. That's the entire point of drinking that beer. Yeah, because it's not yeah, that so, good. It's not the, like it's not no, a very good it's, beer. It's just like Heineken. It's fucking trash. Yeah. So the whole point of drinking is it comes in like a, a chode can. It comes in like a big thick, like you know, like, like Mad Dog. <laughs> yeah, twenty. Well, that's what Shit white sucks. bitches drink. Such yeah. shit sucks. That's a hypertension or whatever. Well, my my dad would always go to the store and he would buy two blue cans of Fosters and two green cans, and then drink and then work his way to the green ones because that was the bitter. So he would drink the two blue ones. <laughs> he's, got, he's got to work. I've never even seen the green ones. You never seen the green one? Yeah, Fosters no. has a green can. It's like the it says it has like a it's like Fosters and then there's a B in the middle of it for bitter. So it's like a hoppier beer. And oh, um, hoppy. Yeah, so my dad would always buy two blue, two green. Yeah, I mean, can we can we also talk about uh, how gay beer culture is? I yes. Mean, what's the, yeah. We have all these pop up breweries, and oh my god, you got to come try my beer and all these tabs. I've, I've thought about yeah, that a fucking, lot. Like a Bud White making a corn fed up. beer. Corn fed beer. Yeah, we could do that, folks. I mean, that, that sounds pretty good, actually. I'll be checking corn <laughs> six pack. I, uh, I've thought about that a lot because, like, when I was a kid, yeah, when I was a kid, there were like three or four beers. There was like Bud. Right, right. You got Bud. Yeah. You got Bud. You got Coors. You got Miller. That's it. Yeah, and, and then now, maybe you, like Bush Light. Like, yeah, now you got old corn fed IPA. Yeah, there's all the micro yeah. brews and IPAs and dogfish, oatmeal, I, Indian pale ales. And that being said, I I it's will say IPA. that being said, the IPA, um, yeah. In, yeah, India, um, ale ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so but uh, I that being said, that there is one that's the dogfish head. Dogfish isn't bad. I, I, I it's the what is like it? That. What is it called? It's like dog. It's like it's like a it's like a sea. It's like a it's like the it's like the sea dogfish head something. Oh, sequinch sequinch. It's got it's got like lime and black salt or some shit. It tastes, it, dude. It tastes like you're on a boat. Like it tastes like yeah. you're you're out fishing. You're sailing. So the so, so the the point is, you drink, you you take a sip, you close your eyes, and you're you're putting and up sail. You're on the high seas. You're whisked away to the high seas. Yeah, it's like you're <laughs> you're on. You kids want a land shark. <laughs> yeah, you're there with Queequeg and Captain Ahab hunting the white whale. It's I mean, land, so land shark... good. Land Shark was kind of one of those beers at the beginning where uh, mm -hmm. you you would pay extra money for the six pack, and then you would taste and the beer. It it tastes like ass. But it, it, it was summertime, bro. It but was the fact, the fact it says Land Shark on it. But how are uh, you gonna go to Cancun and drink and not have like you know a summertime beer? If if I go to Cancun, I'm drinking Mexican beer. First yeah, summertime beer is just a Corona with a lime in it. No Pacifico all day. Or Pacifico. Pacifico is good. I like. I the, love yeah. Pacifico. I hate I hate it. It. I, I, love, I love Tecate. 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 Here's, a funny, uh, here's a funny story, real quick, if you want. Uh, 
the first no one of the I think it was the first or second time I went to Mexico. I think was, I was 15, so I knew I was underage to drink. So we went to a bar, and the, the hombre came up to me, asked me what I wanted to drink, and I said, I want tea cake. He goes, what? Tea cake. Oh, you mean Tecate? And I was like, yeah, 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 Tecate. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I'm 15. Tecate is good. You ever, you guys ever, you guys fuck with uh, micheladas? Those are delicious. Are you, I don't uh, like the, the tomato, like Clamatos and stuff. Dude, the Clamatos. Oh, kind of no, I, I hate the pre-mix. Like, if I no. want a red beer, I'll drink a red beer. You exactly. Yeah, yeah, you, you get a Tecate. And then mix yeah, it. Yeah, you get it to go. Yeah, you, then you mix it yourself. Te- mix it with te- tomato te- juice or V8 or Bloody Mary Beautiful, mix. It's a, yeah, it's a beautiful uh, hangover. Cure. Yeah. I didn't even know that's what he was saying. Yeah, a michelada. Yeah, What's dude, one beer you guys hate? I mean, this what like, do you Blue guys Moon. have one? Blue, I, Blue Moon stinks. Blue Moon sucks. I hate uh, Dos Equis. I think it's terrible. It's it's one beer that I just will I've stopped drinking. I used to order it all the time, and I re- I stopped drinking it like the last couple of years because I, I mean don't like a it lot anymore. of a lot of the a lot of those kinds of beers, those like beers that aren't even that you know noteworthy like that, like Dos Equis, Corona, even Bud Light, like all of them. Yeah, it, Miller, if you right? if you throw some lime in them bitches, it instantly changes. It's like oh, I could drink like twenty of these. I don't. I won't drink Miller Light. I'll have a MGD. But uh, not a Miller Light. I won't drink then, a Miller. I'll drink a High Life before I drink a Miller Light. Have you had MGD? Ooh, High Life is heavy. Genuine, the, oh. the genuine draft. I've had MGD. Yeah, look like they're like gold. Folks, welcome to beer talk. Trash. We're talking beer. They're, they're so. Yeah, why, what are we doing? Why are we talking about beer? We're talking like, about ass. I do. This is the good. Just remembering, remembering the good old days when I. Could I know, do. man. I know it's crazy because you boys. I mean, you guys obviously about uh, had your fair share as well. So, <laughs> dude, I've drank so much. Yeah, I mean, life. I'm. I'm like y'all. I don't. I don't I mean, when I do drink, it's in excess, but it went in a way bam, I'm not like y'all. I don't, I don't drink bam. all the time. Bam, 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 yeah, but you. I should have stayed at home. Is that, better 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 alone. Alone. Is, that, is that how that song goes? The Dua Lipa song. We I did a whole episode on the du- how the Dua Lipa song is also the NXS it's song. It kind of sounds like a one part of this one song. It, she, no, not the whole she, song, but this but one. But she this... straight up ripped the hook from NXS. She did take it. The the bump bump. Not bump. my girl. No. I never want to wrong. drink again. Yeah. No. Yeah, I Did she have to pay them? stay at home. Did she have to pay and them? choke myself while I jerk off? Did she have to pay the money? I'd rather stay at home <laughs> and choke myself while, while I jerk off. Jerk off. <laughs> that should be a T-shirt, uh, the billionaire T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> the guy from the next stay at home and choke myself while I jerk off, mm-hmm. like Robin Play Williams. Age of Empires to the expansion. That's how he died. That's how the NXS guy died. I mean, can right? we talk about the fact that Robin Williams died jerking off, and, and so did uh, what's his face, to David Carradine. I don't. I think with Rob, like with Robin Williams, legit. I think legitimately with Robin Williams, it's, come inside it's, my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think with, I think genuinely with Robin Williams, he might look. I'm not ruling out that he might have been trying to like bust a nut. Real nice, but from what I understand, he had he was getting like ripped to shreds by whatever sort of dementia he was dealing with, and yeah. maybe Benadryl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he took too much Benadryl. <laughs> this man with a hat's been following me. <laughs> yeah, but like, I, from from what I understand, with Robin Williams is he just, I think, given the fact that he made his entire life, like his whole life, was centered around him being you know witty and funny and right. doing like hack black guy preacher voice and yeah. <laughs> you know but I that mean, like some of those some of those serious movies that he did were were awesome one hour he, photo he I mean, was uh, a insomnia. really good dramatic actor so don't yes. laugh at one hour photo so don't oh, one hour oh, photo is great it's... one hour photo is one of the best movies Sal. one hour Robin Robin Williams, Williams, Williams. hold on sal ron williams was a legitimately great dramatic actor I was he was fucking he was really fucking good. Insomnia. What yeah, do you photo. have those films on your shelf, Sal? What's going Bro, on? Last week, my wife went to go get balloons, and it took her an hour. And I was like, "Where the fuck did you go? The one-hour balloon store? Did Robin Williams give them to you?" <laughs> even she, she even like, like I was just being an absolute dick. Is that even your like, wife behind you? Yeah. Is that your wife? Yeah. She is your wife looking for a copy of Wedding Crashers. <laughs> <laughs> 
he, I mean, don't don't sleep on Owen Wilson. Uh, he's, he's, he's Owen Wilson's great. I love Owen Wilson. He, dude, he did a film. Uh, it was a weird movie I saw the other night. Not the other night, a couple months ago. Where he's a serial killer. Have you seen that one? Mm-hmm. Owen Wilson? Yes. He did a no, movie where he was a possible. serial killer. Nope. Look it up. It's hilarious. No, I, he's I twisted. Remember, remember, he tried to kill himself years ago. Did remember he? That? Yeah, remember, you don't remember yeah, that? He, it, he, then he did a big board slide in the Why did I think we were talking about Luke Wilson this whole time? No. No. Oh, brothers, aren't they? They are yeah, brothers. Yeah, but I, I just kept picturing the guy from what? From, uh... Idiocracy? Old yeah, old, oh, yeah. No, Owen Wilson is the be- is the big time actor. Shanghai News. Sal, Sal, what's the movie that uh, that Owen Wilson was a serial killer in? Look it up. Here, I can look uh, it up. Yeah. I, I've, I've never heard, heard of Sal, this. Sal, Sal, Sal has nothing going on. Yeah, no, I turned it on, and my girlfriend, she said, uh, yeah, this is one of the most boring things ever. And I and I was like, oh, I, I have to watch this. I mean, it's, it, it didn't ended up being fucking great. You guys the, have to check this film out. The Minus Man. That's it. Oh, this is an older. This is like at the height of his career. This is like it, it, yeah, it was, it was, it was random. It, it, the way it's filmed is it, crazy. I'm like, why is Owen Wilson in this? Whoa, really I gotta check this out. Owen Wilson and Janine Garofalo. <laughs> no yeah. way. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I gotta check this out. I've never heard of this. Who else that is, is in the it? Movie Brian movie. Cox, dude. I'm telling you, it's the weirdest movie. The way it's. I filmed. swear, if if like Dwight Yoakam is in this, Cheryl Crow. <laughs> I gotta check this out. Dude. Cheryl Crow. <laughs> <laughs> Dwight Yoakam is another pretty good actor. I know he's you know he's a country musician, but right. he's great in the Crank movies. He's great in uh, Logan Lucky as the prison warden. He's good. There's some actors like that though. When like when you see them on the list, you're like, "Oh shit, Bill Paxton! What the fuck?" Mm-hmm. Bill Paxton, like, oh, rest in peace. Like, Let's go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, rest in. Oh yeah, man, I love Bill Paxton. What are you guys' thoughts on Castaway? Uh, it's my go-to movie, especially on a Sunday when I know I have to work. The next Tom day Hanks movie. Remember. It's a good day. Yeah, movie. I mean Tom Hanks stinks, but I mean I I they have not each other seen. In the end. I have not seen that movie since it came out, which was really yeah. How long ago was that? Twenty uh, plus years ago. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm 29. Uh, oh. I know it's. Early. I've seen it probably. A oh my god, now. 2000. So it came out 24 years ago. Yeah, Damn, I, I was five. I was five years old when that movie came out. Yeah, I just remember. Yeah, because like everybody was obsessed with Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that's not. That's not the. That's not even. I hate that. That that annoys me. That people are obsessed with the volleyball. <laughs> it, it's like that's not even the good part of the film, right? I yeah. I haven't seen yeah, it. That's in, like the last act. I haven't seen it since it came out. Like I, it was a movie. I think I think we went to the theater to see it. Or why wouldn't out. he open the packages? Let's he did. Out. He did open yeah. the packages. He did. He had to. He didn't. That open was where he got he Wilson. That's how yeah. he got Wilson. He how the fuck do you think he got the volleyball? So yeah. did he deliver some of them at the end? No, oh, they, deli- he definitely delivered a package at the end. Man, that guy, that fucking. By the way, that blows. I need to really that, watch like, that movie. You survive all that, and then it's like, well, I'm gonna go back to work for at FedEx. Just well, come no, on, that's not, I mean, that's not what happened. Him, that's not what happened at the end. At the end, they uh, paid he, him. He, he, no, he finally saw the wife, and, and she that had a black blows. husband. <laughs> <laughs> he was that, like, "What the fuck?" That, yeah, if they made the movie today, she would hey, be playing. Hey, 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 black hey. Dude. <laughs> we agreed. <laughs> but no, he wasn't black. But they had kids together, and then she's like, they ran away in the in the rain together, and she's like, "Oh, I can't do this." And so then he goes to deliver the last package, also his package. That's the way the movie ends. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. The lady, the lady opens the door, and he his final moment was him delivering the package. Mm-hmm. It was it's the way, it, It's my takeaway. <laughs> I want. I, I. It's the only movie I've ever bought. It's awesome. <laughs> I love that you. If anyone goes to your house, there's just a DVD of Castle. <laughs> I don't have. There's a full like... DVD tower. Special like edition. Five hundred slots, and it's just cast away. Ten year anniversary. <laughs> no, I had to buy it on the online. re-release. The, the, the only DVDs I have is the Crow, the Big Lebowski, and uh, Castaway. No, I don't have the Castaway DVD. I should get it before they ban it. You have the Crow, uh-huh. the Big Lebowski. Why would they ban and, it though? And what else? Cruel Intentions. Uh, I don't know. Well, babe, 
Just go. Get my DVD. Bring me the DVD. <laughs> I, I'd love to show you. I can't go in there right now. Where's my super suit? I think one of my one of my go to movies. If I'm just looking for something, Devil Wears know, Prada. No, dude. I had <laughs> no. The, how the fuck did you know I had that on DVD? Because uh, I do too, and I love that movie. Yeah, I actually have it on DVD. Yeah. I classic. remember it being good. I mean, it is not bad. It's good. Rewatch it. It's very good. That's your go. That's one of your go-to movies. Is the Devil Wears Prada? <laughs> Absolutely. I have Absolutely. three. One, I have Castaway, You, Me, and Dupree, and uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> sorry, and uh, The Crow. Why? why Dude, you see, me? this is why. This is like my defense of streaming, is because like most movies, just you shouldn't own on fit like any physical copy of. They like all these like just kind of fluff movies like that it's fine that they just exist digitally and if if they, they were just... they were good they were good at the time so yeah, when, when you go pass, back you you, the... you watch you hop at well i don't think that's a very good movie <laughs> That Honestly, was, yeah. you remember fishing through the Walmart bucket like for the five dollar five dollar bin. <laughs> How could you not though? Even no, hall today, pass, hall I'd pass be like, just makes $5. me mad. Hall, let's talk about hall pass. That just makes me angry when I watch it. It's like, how are you gonna let your wife go fuck other dudes? Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's it. it, it yeah, it's what are you, Will Smith? Minute. Yeah, what are you, Will Smith? I mean, Will you, you let you let you bet people are into that. Well. Good for them. Don't make a fucking movie about it. I'm not. Sal, it's funny you would say that. It's funny that you would say that, Sal. Funny the way it is when you think about it. I was going to say The Fifth Element. That's uh, a go-to? No. That's one of my favorite movies. Yeah. Oh, Flight. Love... What about uh, Flight's one of my favorite movies? I've never seen Flight, the Denzel movie. You have, you, you haven't watched it? For real? I've seen clips of it on TikTok. Yo, can yeah, we talk gotta, about my favorite actors? It. Go ahead, Denzel. <laughs> Uh, Denzel is the top three. Brad he's Pitt. In my, he, he's in my top three too. Brad uh, Pitt. Brad Pitt. Leo. Brad Pitt is very good, and I love that late, Pre- like late, the later career of Brad Pitt is he's like backing away from being like a leading man. You're right. Just, I, like, I do. I do like that. Like his his role in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is like he's technically. You know, really a leading good. man in that movie, but he's that was a like, good. That's the only movie I've seen in theater since I was nine. I don't go to yeah, the movie theater. It's awesome, but he's like in that movie. He exists as more of like a supporting. I think he is like technically a supporting actor in that movie. Yeah, he's literally yeah but he was the star, and that, yeah, that's, you're but, right. I mean, that's what made him the star is that he wasn't on the cover of everything. Right, like the cat. DiCaprio in that movie is the like big bombastic like leading but, man but, role. But but Pitt did such a good job that you forget that DiCaprio's even in the film. It, at when times, I, when I, when, like until you just said that, when I think about that movie, all I think about is is Brad Pitt. Oh, dude, when he pops his shirt off and climbs up on that roof to fix the antenna, uh, my so penis hard. was wet, dude. My dude, I got rock hard too when he's my driving penis. the car. <laughs> oh, I could watch like hours of just Brad Pitt driving old cars through mm-hmm. 60s Hollywood. <laughs> that shit rock. Yeah, he's right. great. Uh, his his role, his role in um, The Big yep. Short is very good, which is more of yeah. like a character actor type role. Um, <laughs> Like he's he's really like settling into being a man in his 50s as an actor. <laughs> you guys will laugh at my top three actors. Who are they? Number one, obviously, Nicholas Cage. Number one. I'm sorry. Would you would you, would you call him? Would you call him? <laughs> I know you heard what I said. It's an old, <laughs> old Artie Lang joke, but seriously, he is on my uh, top of my list. Yeah. Number two, Vince Vaughn. And then three is a toss up between uh Owen Wilson and uh Denzel. Mm. You could probably stick Denzel in there but and dude, uh, salvage he, the, the top three. Dude, Nicholas Cage just came out with this movie. They put it on Netflix <laughs> or something. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> and, uh, where he's like, he he buys this hotel. It's Negro in this cage, please. <laughs> oh, and, are you talking about the the assassin movie he did, where he plays like a? No, not that one. No, this one is uh, he's in he's a hotel manager. He buys a hotel. It's very misgay, or right? however you say it, risque. Uh, it was it, one of the weirdest movies I've ever seen. Kind of like the Owen Wilson flick. And uh, it was pretty good. So Nicolas Cage, I mean, he continues seen, to deliver. I would put, yeah, N- Nicolas Cage for sure. <laughs> you seen that movie it. where he's uh, uh, he's in people's dreams coming? That's coming out. I haven't seen it yet. It came. It already came out in theaters, and I think I'm trying it? to see that shit. Is that new? Yeah, it's a new movie he's in where everybody in the world starts having dreams about him. 
like his <laughs> character, and he becomes famous. And there's no explanation. I don't think there's like any explanation for why this is oh, happening. Wait, is it? Is that the same one where they did an entire film about the, him being famous? No, that one came out a while ago. No, that uh, was that was the unbearable way to mask. Oh, okay, him yeah, that's one I didn't watch. I'm he like, plays himself in that movie. Yeah, yeah, I didn't it's, like. I didn't like that. Yeah, I didn't like it because right. I think Tiffany Haddish is in it. So boo, boo. <laughs> yeah, Tiffany honestly, Haddish. though, that was the most annoying part. Was like when I went back to the cops. Yeah. Um, and I I didn't hate that movie. I thought like him and Pedro Pascal were fun together. Um. Yeah, he's, Nick, he he's an amazing actor for sure. Like he, Nicholas, I mean, he he rules, dude. And, and and just if you see some of the clips, like especially when he's down in New Orleans, hammered, just being in, he got in a fight with uh, who did he get in a fight with in Vegas? Which dude. is easily like one of the most talented. I mean, bad lieutenant Port of Call New Orleans, dude. Bad dude. lieutenant Port of Call New Orleans. I it's mean, when so he good. is. <laughs> it's so yeah, fucking I mean, good. I'm, I'm, I'm watching. He's up there with like Daniel Day Lewis, dude. Like bad as far Lu- as like talent, Bad Lieutenant like Porco New Orleans the, is a, a Warner Herzog movie that may or may not be related to the Harvey Cattell movie. Like I have no I idea. Mean, dude, Dalton, I mean, you know this. Uh, as a drug user myself, uh, whenever he's high as hell on the crack and he's and he's doing his hair back and yeah. just the face, he, he it's perfect. It's like yes, he, uh, it's I so, can tell. I can totally tell he's on crack. Oh, he's so fucking him and Val Kilmer to get. I mean, it's, that's such a uh, fucking good movie. I'm watching that as soon as I get off this podcast. It's it rocks. Werner Herzog's a great director, and the fact that they did a movie together that's like that fucking batshit crazy is so good. Yo, boys, um, what is the, the, the scene? Me and my brother always quote that movie, uh, Fat Call, uh, New Orleans, whatever. His soul is still dancing. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. What? How good is Tombstone? Tombstone's great. Tombstone's a very good. Film. I'm not your Huckleberry. It's so good. New Orleans. Shall we gamble? My brother just actually texted me. That's so weird that we were talking about that movie. But uh, no, uh, whenever he's, <laughs> uh, I got confused. Whenever, uh, no, it's fifteen large talents. Five large talents. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd probably go. I would go N- Nicholas Cage for I sure. Love Nicholas. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp's Ooh, up there. I forgot about Depp. I love Johnny Depp. Really? I like Lake Sa- Depp, though. Okay, some of the stuff he's done, but some of the stuff was a little... I, look, and I'm not joking. Never... I'm not what, joking. What about, what about McConaughey? Come on. I've never disliked great. him in a movie, uh, Depp, but I, he's not, like, up there, I feel look, like. I, let me say something here. I'm not joking when I say this. Make a case. The Every single Pirates of the Caribbean movie is awesome. I love those really? movies so much. I look, obviously, first two are the best. And then you start to get kind of diminishing returns after that. At World's End, still pretty good. Uh on Stranger Tides, you know, it's competent. Uh and then oh, really? And then Dead Men Tell No Tales. So, you know, it's okay. But I would say across the board, I've never not enjoyed one of them. And there's always something to, you know, to to have a good time with in those movies and you can always rely on captain jack sparrow for a good time (laughs) i like that is captain jack sparrow might be like my favorite like intellectual property you know just like a recurring character in a movie i fucking love captain jack sparrow disappointed i've ever been in you I don't care, dude. I, go back and no, watch. Go back and this watch is Dead real, Man's this Chest. This is real shit. I mean, he's allowed to say that he loves Captain Go Jack. back and watch oh, Dead Man's Chest. I respect and tell it. Me, tell me that fucking Curse of the Black Pearl and Dead Man's Chest are not perfect fucking action adventure movies. I got it. So I, I got turned off because, I number guess. one, they're made by Disney. And uh, whenever the octopus <clears throat> guy came in to the yeah. picture. Davy Jones, we played by Bill stuff. Nye. I, I didn't like that. The science but... guy? No, Bill N I G H Y, Bill <laughs> Nye. He's an incredible actor. He's been in ton, tons of stuff. He was the dad. Why and did he I was, even think it could be? He was the dad guy. in Shaun of the Dead. Remember that? No. Okay. Uh, what else is he? I, I didn't. I wasn't the stepdad? Then. Yeah, the stepdad, Bill Nye. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was also in Love I was Actually. Like, Wait, there is no dad. Yeah, with the stepdad. He was he was also in Love Actually. He was the like aging pop star in Love Actually. Yeah. He's great. He's great. And he plays Davy Jones in Dead That's Man's Chest. And, Shaun of the Dead. 
Yeah. <clears throat> um, no, Gore Gore Verbinski did an incredible Thank job you. with the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. They're fucking awesome. And then, like, even even on Stranger Tides, you know, is is it you know it starts to um, diminish the quality of the movies. Oh, come on. Fucking Ian McShane is Blackbeard. Come on, dude. You gonna tell me that ain't awesome? Ian I McShane. Think it, I think it was overplayed for Disney. I mean, if somebody could have done a way better job making the movie, but that's oh, just my for sure. It, I was a I was a sailor. Imagine like an actual director up in there. Yeah. So no, I, it was I think whack. I think it's but appropriate... I I respect it. I respect that you have your honest opinion and and to come out and say that. You love Pirates of the Caribbean. I love, I love Pirates that. of the Caribbean I mean, that's, so much. That's, that's awesome, bro. I mean, I, I respect that. I, I got so happy today. I saw an article that said they're, they're, Disney is thinking about bringing back Johnny Depp. I just I I hate another, Disney I would, so I, much. I, like, I there's hate been the, enough of a break now where like I would I could get into one, but they were coming they're, out they're, like Transformers. I, I saw something like, where I they're don't. they're considering having Jack Sparrow return in like a supporting role. I mean, I would and, watch that after no. after having someone crap no. on your <laughs> own bed. I would <laughs> watch. <laughs> I would watch anything. It, Johnny and it's does it's now. by the way, it's not it's not just that no, like the it's stop. not just that the movies are good. That it's like they're well done, fun adventure movies. He truly loves being Jack Sparrow. You can feel it in the movies. And you can see it in his yeah. music. I mean, when he's on stage, he, he's he's starting with the tattoos. Yeah, he's, he's starting to... to just become Jack Sparrow. Yeah, he is Jack Sparrow. He's, You're he's, right about that. His teeth you are, are right talking about. about when Disney makes another movie and it's him supporting a new I, Jack look, Sparrow. I'll watch it. She, if they if a, they fucking if they if they make a movie She's a lesbian. If they make a Pirates of the Caribbean uh, movie just with no Jack Sparrow. I'm on my way to Orlando and I'm burning the Magic Kingdom to the fucking <laughs> ground, dude. I'm, no, I'm, we're like the I'm torching that fucking castle. Like, he'll right, like as Jack Sparrow lover doll. Uh, listen, he'll we like have sacrifice to, we, we have, we have like, to so talk about on. the elephant in the room. If Amber Heard takes a shit on your bed. What are you doing about it? Are you just uh, cleaning it up, inviting you know, her back to no bed? I'm, I'm, I'm rubbing her nose in. I'm pushing her face you know, into it a like a dog, chance. like the fucking dog but, but she is. is. Is she the, is she hot enough, or did she just uh, or would you know? No, there things? there is nobody. Like the thing is, is like with that whole case, I like the truth is always somewhere in the middle, right? And, but it's like they both seem kind of nuts. She seems like fucking crazy, you know, like. If that's if that's something she actually did out of spite is like take a dump in the bed. If it wasn't an accident, if it was like a I just I, I, I just wanted to hear you say take a dump in the bed. It, it, look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If a woman is high, an accident, Dalton. Here's the thing. If a woman he is just high, looks over and he goes, "Oh, you're screwed, honey." Let me explain something. Right. Like, hey, hey, look, look. If my lady took a dump in the bed and it was an accident, that's one thing. But I, I think the way it was described was that she squatted. <laughs> On top of the king size, and it just took a dump. Two things. Yeah, no, unacceptable. Can I make Un- two points? Unforgivable. Can I make two points? <laughs> Go these ahead. Famous so. people. Number so two. Famous. These are famous. <laughs> number two. You have no. You have number two points to make. <laughs> They're famous, bro. There's no way that she used her own shit. She just told someone to give her some shit, and there's no way that he found that the next day. It was his maid or something that called him and was like, ah. I don't think I, I, I don't think Johnny Depp is the type of type of guy that would have a maid. It, they it both, was probably, like, the thing is, they, probably, it's probably they her both, maid. They Everyone both wants seem, to make it the most look, dramatic version. They both seem like they're fucking crazy. And you think she really even poops. She's probably not eating. She probably she, takes. She, she probably, probably asks a guy friend was like, "Hey, you know, it'd be funny. Bring me a giant fucking log." I, I mean, I would love to know what the actual truth is. So I, I mean, look, because a girl shit I, wouldn't even be intimidating. Here, I want to make, so, I want to make something clear. I support Johnny Depp no matter what, even if he hit her. Fuck. That's how much I love yeah, Jack no, Sparrow. Yeah, you know what? No, I mean, is it acceptable to slap a bitch if she squats and takes it up in the bed? But I, I look, I've been privy to relationships like that before. I've never like had a relationship like that, but I've like had friends where they were in these like really toxic relationships where it was mutually abusive, where like the woman was physically violent, like throwing dishes and putting hands on the guy. And then just like, it it, is like, these things are bubbling up and boiling over. They they both just start like physically assaulting each other 
So it's just it's just toxic. It's a toxic relationship. Yeah. And curse of the black turd. Curse of the black yeah, turd. So, <laughs> so, is it, it would it be acceptable, like say she was throwing dishes at him. Would it be acceptable for the man to squat over the king size? No, that's out? never acceptable. That's like that's such a that, uh, that's such a like premeditated deliberate like thing. <laughs> because as dudes, we all know that women don't dump, women don't fart. Right. I just made that point. The uh, ones it would have looked like a raisin in the bed. Some of the porn, <laughs> some of the porn I watched would would suggest otherwise, but you know. Yeah, and I'm, I got a, one of my best friends. He's into some weird porn shit. He'll send me some stuff, and I'm like, bro, I, how do you find this hot? Uh, <laughs> he he paid paid a hooker to, and he brought a pack of diapers and had her wear diapers. I'm like, bro, this this did, he, did he ever take a dump in them? That's yes. the expensive part because they're hourly. Well, you gotta wait like, for them to shit. I'm like, yeah. well, how are you into this? I mean, I I, I guess I get it. I mean, if it, if it's your thing, but it's, it's like a primal. Like, well, I, look, don't I guess I that. understand it is like it's a, you know it's a primal thing like watching a woman take a dump or fart or piss. It's just like oh this is, she's a fucking animal like I am and she's pissing. No, it's more of a shameful. <laughs> she's pissing the like a fucking dog. It makes and, sense, but dude, if, if I smell something bad in the room and I know I didn't fart, it means my lady farted and she tries to keep it silent. And I'm like, eh, hey, listen, that's not for me. My buddy's he's so into it. He loves it. I'm like, oh, right. I don't know. Yeah. I don't get it. But it's like you with the Captain Jack Sparrow. Like, I don't understand it. But I <laughs> right. I get it. Yeah. Like Is, you know, shit. fart porn. You like, Jack Cap- Sparrow. you like Pirates of the Caribbean. Hey, you know, I got different strokes for different folks. Everybody's got Bravo, this thing. Bro, that was perfect. The setup. <laughs> oh, man. That and it's pirate, it's pirates of the Caribbean, not Caribbean. <laughs> it's pirates, pirates of the Caribbean. Of the Caribbean, Caribbean mall. Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Mr. Blah, Mr. Blah, Depp, blah. don't come home. There's shit in the bed. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, in the bed. Oh, please. It was none. Oh, the job. I her, took a three corner in the sheets in the king size. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's that's like kind of unacceptable. That's where I would. I don't think there's like a level of hot that makes up like, for that. There's level no crazy. way you could bend her over after that without thinking about the three. Because you know, there's you always you get a different bed. You got first of all, <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta you know, he's like a, a new bed. There's always that correlation between like hotness and craziness. Where the yeah. hotter, the hotter a woman is, usually the crazier she is. It, it, and, it is. Yeah. I've yeah, and so you're like you're but, willing to. There's put an up end with a, to that. Like, yeah, you're willing to put up with point. a certain level of crazy up to a certain point. And usually if it's if if a bitch is taking a dump in the bed, it's like I don't it doesn't care. matter how high on the hot <laughs> literally it, it's like literally if you're Amber level. Heard, I'm yeah, not putting up with that. I'm putting Amber your nose heard. in it. I'm swatting <laughs> you with the newspaper. Uh-huh. Outside. Outside. You're a dog. Outside. You're a dog. You're a dog. Uh Adam, call this episode dump in the bed, please. Dump in the bed. Who's Adam? He's uh, you know, it, it, fucking Brennan always says that whenever he, something funny said on the show. Hmm. Adam's his producer. He goes, Adam "What's Cole going on? Good. What's going on with that whole world?" Because I like, I got a lot of the Kevin Brennan fans. A lot of those people interact with me and like want me to be part of that. I and mean, it, they do, yeah. It, it, it does feel anytime I interact with any of them, it feels like I've taken a handful of Benadryl. Like it's very <laughs> schizophrenic. Whatever's it happening, is. it's uh, there's always something happening. I mean, it's hard to you know. I can't tell anybody just to go listen to the show to find out what's going on because they won't. Something new is going to happen tomorrow. But yeah, you're right. The world is crazy when it comes to that. Uh, you got to get these guys on. I I was on Jake Hudson's show this morning. Early yeah, like it makes up. it makes Legion of Skanks look like Sesame Street. Like it's, it does. It, it's it, it so does. far beyond the pale. It's so crazy. Sal, get off your phone. Sal, pay attention. We're doing a podcast. Yeah, Sal, you're on a show. Come on. Sal, you're on a show. Come on. What are you doing? I'm trying to look up some of the big words y'all say. What's the big word? Right, you're not. Yeah. I was looking up Sesame Street. (laughs) (laughs) What? You don't know Oscar the Grouch? You don't know Big Bird and Elmo? Uh, I do now. I did a quick little Wikipedia reference. I got a big bird for you. Sense Amelia Street. (laughs) Schema has got a big bird. Yeah. Yeah, Remember Sense Amelia Street? 
Yeah, okay, listen, we're not all, all about the, the weird stuff here. Yeah, obviously. we don't have the weed over here. Yeah, we're not, we don't have pipes, we're not bongs. But yeah, we have... what is what is the Kevin Brennan? It's like the dabble verse, is that it? Dude, yes, yeah, so that's what they're calling it. I refuse to say the word, <laughs> and I will just hands down say that Jim Stansel and myself are not part of that. But the, like the fans don't seem to enjoy anything, including it's the what... thing that they're a fan of. Because the whole point of Brennan's show is hating everything. So, of course, he's attracting angry white men uh, who are just angry at everything. Like, you know, I mean, Brennan, he pissed off Bob Levy so bad. He almost fought him at the Borgata, and Bob Levy got banned for life. Hilarious. It's, oh, it's... <laughs> the Reverend yeah, Bob Levy? Yeah, he tried to fight Brennan because, uh, you know, Brennan was talking some shit. Then, you know, you got Stuttering John coming into the picture, which everyone and their mother has a show about. Uh, Ray, you got guys like Ray DeVito who are driving halfway across the country <laughs> for an $8 spot. Yeah, comedy will you do Ch- that, You got you. Chad Zumox who are living in Tampa because they got thrown out of Hollywood. <laughs> and, uh, he, you know, Chad saying that, uh, you know, he'll fight anybody, so we put somebody on a jet plane to go fight him and then chad didn't answer his door even though he was <laughs> clearly inside uh so dude it's just it like you say it's just absolute nonsense like this podcasting thing has come to it, it's crazy like you got to do something bigger and bolder just to you know make a living doing it and brendan's done just that he's brought all these guys and he's you know i mean that's how, i can't i i can sit here all day and try to explain about the MLC uh, universe, uh, I refuse to say the D word. Are we gonna have to fight at said. some point? What? Are we gonna have to fight at some point in podcast? Who's we? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, no. there's, there's there's been fights. There's been boxing matches live recorded. I mean, we gotta get Kevin Lee. back. Yeah, when Kevin's out of the uh, out of the ICU, please. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What's, I'm I'm which, out of which, which which Kevin? Cause that's my name too. Our co-host Kevin. He uh he's uh he's in the ICU right up. now. He got Light struck out. by he got struck by lightning. He was eating Taco Bell in his car and hilarious. He struck by lightning. Um, I'm out, but I'm out. He didn't have the right floor mats. I'm outside of everything now. Like ever since I had my health issues and lost all of my you know just everything. I'm kind of carving out my own corner of the internet, you know. Yeah, and... but I I see you I see you making a comeback because I mean you're posting real ass shit uh, on Twitter. And yeah, I just don't care. Like I don't. Like, it's so not... fucking funny. I mean, you're posting things that everybody else is thinking. Yeah, if that makes sense. But it, like I, the shit that I do is not. I don't even it's think kind it's of like, amazing, right? I'm trying not to come from a place of bitterness. It's just, but it's also coming from a place of like. I'm not even. I'm not trying to climb the ladder. I'm not a careerist anymore. Especially like having, having like studied the way YouTube and all these other like social media platforms work. It's like I don't. I don't need to uh, keep up niceties with people I don't like. Get, whose work I don't care for right. in order to succeed. Now I have the the algorithms on my side. Like that's the thing. Technology is awesome. Algorithm AI, all this shit is only benefiting us. It's just you have to not be a pussy about it and just like actually right, utilize right. these things. Like the whole model of like podcasting that this trend that everybody follows, where it's like we do one, we do one a week, and then a, we do a free episode and then a premium. It's like you don't have to. You could upload nine podcasts a fucking week and just nickel and dime YouTube. You're getting views on I mean, all I, that. You, You're getting... you guys can go to my website, schemascollective.com, and buy uh, hats that say constant, constant content constantly being released. Mm-hmm. And we might we might not release anything for two weeks, but <laughs> hey, m- maybe we'll release something on a Tuesday night because one of us got hammered and and decided to go live. You know, you know. you're right. Yeah, the the scheduled shows is gay. It's gay. There's nothing gay here. And uh, yeah. yeah, just just put the content out. Just, just pick. Just, just like I look. We were talking about this earlier. It, it, the cat the cat Williams interview on Rogan was like further proof of my theory of what's going on nowadays. And there's, there's been like so many examples of this that in order to truly succeed these days, you just have to be a brazenly confident retard. You right. just have to That's... just be as like stupid as you want to be, be the like 
dumbest and that's a version. t-shirt that's a t-shirt become a brazenly uh say it again brazenly confident retard 100 percent b r r c r s b c r because i become like b c r and uh, you can also go to schemascollective.com. Right? You, you you can get Mongo <laughs> Bongo t-shirts. Jim Stanton and myself say this all the time, Dalton. Don't be hey, a I'm Mongo Bongo. Fatty Wap, fatty these, dumb, these dumb Mongo Bongos wake up in the morning to go to work. Oh, maybe there's a new episode because it releases every Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Don't be a Mongo Bongo, folks. Don't fall <laughs> in line. I've yeah. talked to artists before. I've talked to like people who take themselves seriously as artists, and the thing that's like clowns seems to be holding them back is this like reticence to actually put anything out there. Like they're precious about their work, and I'm me. I'm like I barely think about it. It's like hit record, re- record something. That's it. In the can upload onto that's the next. That's it. Thing. That's it. Who cares? Wake up. Yeah, it's like it's like yeah. I you know I'm just now coming to realize this you know it's like two weeks ago i got blacked out drunk and uh you got blacked you got blacked <laughs> you're sitting, black, on, you're sitting on a couch up. and there was yeah yeah and i i said some things like you know last night i i had gino bisconti on my show uh, i don't remember having him on uh at all uh, and i apparently i told him to shut the fuck up a couple of times because mm-hmm. he wouldn't quit talking it's a that's constant content constantly being released yeah, Constantly. yeah, because like most, mo- like the truth, honestly, like most uh, comedians and podcasters are retarded and like borderline Ill- yeah. illiterate, not even very creative. Like what they're, you know, no one is like really doing anything artistic. So like, I don't understand why any of them are precious about anything they're doing when it doesn't even measure up to the lowest standard of anything else. 100%. And the the real attraction to all of this is just the fact that it exists, and there's a lot of it. There's just like a yeah. quantity over quality thing. I mean, doctor. there's too, there's too much of it. I mean, you, you you look at people are doing puppets now. I mean, I get it. I wear a ski mask, but I was the first. I've uh, been doing this for over uh, four years at this point. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you got puppets. You got vegetables. You got guys who who are changing their face, and it's just, it's ridiculous. I know? did. I found something today though that got me real excited. It got me buzzing. Got you rizzed up. I get every now and then I find something on YouTube that just is such a gem, and I mean it had like <laughs> like ten million views. It was I think it was a pretty popular video. Uh, but it was this account Power Pack P A K, and dude, this I, I went on a journey today with this video. It was like an hour and 40 minutes long. And I this, this is what I live for. This is like actual content. This is like somebody put some work into this. There was this, this like, a, like a year or two ago, somebody uploaded a Doom 2 mod to one of these forums. You guys know Doom 2, the video yeah, game? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't back, know if I can get into Doom, Doom, Doom 2. All right, Doom. boys, I'm going to let you guys go. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to hang up and listen. All right. Thank you for doing it. <laughs> You're gonna hang up and listen. I can't do Doom Two. I, I don't know. Uh, Doom Two. Uh, the, 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 the shooting I game. Hang up and listen. The shooting game. Oh yeah, but never got in. I don't. I'm not a video game guy. I, I oh. don't. No I, Doom Two. No Back Doom. To the sand. Doom Two. The sands. The sand. The shooting game them. where you're in hell. I know the game. I, Doctor uh, Doom. I, I have friends. Game Doctor about. Doctor Doom Little. Doctor Dome. I like Doctor Dome. You know, get Doctor Dome. Doctor Dome. Yeah. Well, and, uh, and, Adam, call this episode Doctor Dome. Doctor Dome. Right. <clears throat> Done. He was he was hit by the cosmic rays and he got really good at sucking dick. He was hit by the cosmic <laughs> rays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, was, yeah, yeah, give him some heads. Victor the Von Doom, Reed Richards, Sue Storm, Ben Grimm, and Johnny Storm. The... They were on an expedition in space. They got hit by the cosmic rays. And then the the Fantastic Four got their powers, and then Doctor Dome so uh, got dick sucking powers. That's he's so really good, good at sucking dick, and so he's... Marvel is gay. Uh, superheroes are gay. Uh, <laughs> most video games gay. <clears throat> hey, anything you think about is just gay. Everything they make everything gay now. Well, anyway, so but the, so there was a somebody somebody made a Doom Two mod called My House. And it was this was like a whole fucking elaborate journey with what this thing was like. They, it came with like all these different journal entries that you could read along with it. 
and then the game itself, like they they totally overhauled this game and created this like labyrinthine level for Doom Two with all. It, but I I don't I don't even know how to describe what this is. I know a couple of bitches I like to overhaul. You know. What yeah, I'm it was dude. It really made me. I got excited watching this because I was like, this is the cool. This is the shit. Just this is some anonymous guy. You know, like who was probably schizophrenic, spent like months of his life creating this thing that he's never going to make any money on. It probably like ruined his life, like driving himself crazy <laughs> making this. And it's this elaborate Doom 2 mod that is so like in depth and intricate that there was like thousands of forum pages of people trying to figure out how to like play this thing. <clears throat> it was really cool. It was a cool, like, I want to play it now. You know what's yeah, better than Doom is Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem. Did you, did was you like, guys see the video that was going around on Twitter of the white bitches dancing at the gas station? Yeah. What are, you, what are your thoughts on the, that? Like the yeah. Southern College girls with the Stanley Cups and shit? Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, that's... I can't yeah. stop watching it. I that's mean, what I, sorority yeah. girls do. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I think it's... I don't know why people are hating it. It's fantastic. Him on his because it's... Because now that everything has a monetary incentive to it, just like posting now comes with some sort of, you know, even if it's $11... Even if you're only making the money back for the Twitter membership that you're paying for, there's some sort of money behind it. So right. the, everybody's just like, you know, you know what they call it now, engagement farming. So somebody just takes that video and they're like, y y y here's what's wrong with the Western the women of the West yeah, yeah, or that, whatever. Yeah, that, this is why guys don't want Western women. Yeah, and it's like, I'm sure the guy posting that probably either doesn't care or has never touched a woman or yeah, like, he's what? never had his ass say yeah, yeah it's like it's like but he the he's only Western women know how to do is spend a man's money and order at a, a restaurant and charge a phone i see know. you got a wedding ring there uh does she eat ass who you does your wife I, eat ass i eat, i eat ass gross nice. good for you gross yeah, you're gonna yeah. get stripped yeah, that, that, was, that, was, that, was, one, that was one of your tweets i didn't understand dalton that you're telling me that you wouldn't eat ass I, I mean, I would. I probably would. Uh, I've never done it, but it's like, yeah. I you, mean, you you tweeted. I think if uh, if 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 I'm right, you said I don't understand why anyone would eat ass. And like, and anytime. I like, I but I'm not. I like. Here's ass. the thing: is I I and I've explained this to Sal. Is like, I'm not consistent about anything, and I don't ever want anyone to know how I feel about anything truthfully. Like, good, I don't, good, good, good. Yeah, I don't. I don't ever want to have like any real consistent point of view or convictions that are known by no anybody. Real connection with anybody. Yeah, I don't want anyone no to to ever like uh, like understand me at all. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I just I just want to like you know talk shit, and then every now and then I'll do like ass. every now and then do what. <laughs> He said every now and then I said eat some ass. Eat some ass, yeah. Eat some ass. But every it's now and then, the like, every day, every yes. now and then I'll flex my brain a little bit on Twitter and post something like eloquent and poignant just to like show just to keep people on their toes, just to show them. I, mean, I feel like I mean life, your, your, your watch tweet their faces is, contort. Before I sign off, I just have to say your tweets have been so good lately. I feel like you should double down and just start posting cryptic pictures of your balls, you know, or something <laughs> like that. Like, so like maybe just posting like, nut videos publicly. Yeah, no, no, not even like that. That's just you know, that's not cryptic. Uh, you know, <laughs> make make a lasagna and, and have your balls in there and have your member up. You know, no. look at this good lasagna. Your it's just, you know, I just you know, I do the titty videos. I I post like just gross, horny Twitter stuff, and then every now and then I'll post something like actually thoughtful and phil philosophical. Right. Just you know, I just want to keep people guessing. Like, is he retarded? Is he smart? What does he even actually the, believe? Even the feet one was funny. I mean, you start doing foot reviews is is uh, hilarious. I yeah, I'm gonna incorporate feet. I've been I've been suggested <laughs> some asses to look into. So can I do those ones with you? I've been, I've been suggested some asses. Can I do the yeah. ass ones with you? Of course, can I be like yeah. a? Yeah, like we can look at asses like a, like together. A expert. We can look at asses together. Why not? Yeah. Um. All right, boys. I gotta run. Uh, all right, SchemasCollective.com. All right, later, Kevin. The ski mask media on anything. Uh, later, ski Kevin. Ski mask media. <laughs>
Yeah, I'll reach out. We'll have you on again with Jim. Hey man, yeah. it was amazing though. For we, real. we gotta have Stancil on so he can he can break down your your psych. I mean, him and I we 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 love what you're doing on Twitter. So keep that shit up, Bob. Yeah, Twitter's fun, dude. I make like 17 bucks a month on there. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> dude, you gotta get Streamyard. I don't know why you do it. You gotta start. I doing used this well. Live. We do like with these. The the thing with these is like we're there's not the uh, I guess like the the. There's something that changes when you know you're being watched live, when there's a chat and all that. And this is more. Yeah, but you can hide the chat. That's what I have to do. Otherwise, I keep looking at it. All right. Time. But I, you know, I do these just so we can have an intimate discussion. And then I upload. Oh, it's, them. it's intimate. All right. We, yeah. we talk, we talk Nicholas Cage. We talk mm -hmm. Caribbean. We but talk, I do, uh, but I do live streams. Like I, I started, I'm doing a, a weekly live stream with, with Robbie Goodwin and Crack Amico. And then I do like other live streams here and there just using the free stream la, la, last question i mean you gotta admit crack amico's work is pretty fucking good oh i love crack amico crack, like, crack amico <laughs> yo i i i need to have a conversation with him about like where his goals because like he said something on one of the streams we did where he was like i don't know if like i'm ever, if i'm meant to make like a million dollars but maybe like 50 grand a year. And I go, and I told him, I was like, crack, that's like minimum wage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I was, seriously. I, I need to have like a serious work, discussion yeah. with him about like, you guys <laughs> set your sights so fucking higher than that. Dude. <laughs> you're too, like you're too talented to be making what right. like a target cashier is making. <laughs> Well, it's like I tell Jim Stance all the time, you know, I tell him, dude, you're you're way funnier than I am. Yeah, I found you on Twitter and now you're my co-host, but uh, I've seen your work now. I mean, what are you still doing a show with me for? I, I think anyone, look, and I, I, this we'll sign you off on this. I think anyone that is going to dare to do content, put themselves out there in this way and just like by nature do something this retarded should <laughs> also want to get rich. They should also want to get real fucking money from it because other like, what's the point? Otherwise you're subjecting yourself to so much scrutiny and lambasting by the, by the like strangers on the internet. Like the psychic damage you're doing to yourself is, is, is yeah. I, and you got immeasurable. I, mean, I wear a ski mask. I mean, everybody knows what I look like. Uh, it's funny. And people know where I work. Uh, people have con I've had my mother on it. MLC. Uh, people got me fired from my last job, so I had to get a new one. How did that happen? Uh, well, they found out where I work. Yeah, so I like I believe that if you're gonna if you're gonna commodify your very soul in this way, you should want to make like tons and tons of fucking yeah, money. Dude, doing I wanna, it. dude, I just want a new TV, honestly. Yeah, like I want I want the fucking bag because like if I if I didn't give me the bag, I'm tired. Yeah. I, let me secure the fucking bag. Boss. If I didn't want if I didn't Bullshit. want the bag, I would have become a fucking doctor. If or I lawyer. didn't want the bag, I'd be working at the gas <laughs> station or at McDonald's where I buy yeah. two fillet of fish for six dollars. Every everybody always compares like shit like this and OnlyFans and all that to like what a doctor makes. And it's like what the fuck does a doctor do? Nobody Just wants pay me. Yeah, nobody you know wants to see a doctor. Me. Nobody likes doctors. They go to doctors. doctors sick. They... I don't have health insurance for a yeah. reason. So they have me. to go. To, you have to go to a doctor when you're sick or fucked up, and then they push drugs on you that were sold to them by the pharmaceutical company. They're the worst. They're you know, one hundred percent. They're fucking they drug dealers, an, dude. Fuck they doctors. An, they fuck doctors, doggy. They put me. Hey, what about Doctor Mario? They put me Except on antidepressants, Lexapro, I think Thank it was. You. And uh, I forgot to take it for a couple days. I woke up. I had Kobe Bryant posters. I had Lakers gear, Lakers t-shirt. Oh, you went manic. Uh, I you woke ordered up a bunch of memorabilia. Said, I, I woke up. I said, holy fuck, I hate basketball. I've never liked basketball. Uh, I guess it was the pills that made me like basketball. Yeah, you'll go manic if you take it, it for a little wild, bit and then bro. go on and then you wild. can't get it. You go off of I'm it. Not a yeah. big fan of basketball either. No, I just um, woke up one day and I had all this all, all this fucking gear. All yeah, that's one of the that's one of the symptoms of mania is like just buying a bunch of dumb shit like financial irresponsibility. No, it just it made me like basketball. And then yeah, or that, I, I, yeah, no. And then I woke up and I go, I, I, was that I, I woke up. You had hoop fever. We gave you after hoop a fever. couple of days. Was that was that ambient? 
after a couple of days of not taking the pills, I go, I, I fucking, I hate basketball. I've never yeah. been a fan of basketball. It's the one sport I cannot stand. Hoop fever, did you say? And I was like, yeah, hoop. <laughs> Adam it's called this episode hoop fever. I gave uh, you hoop fever. <laughs> <laughs> I'll set up on that. Thanks, Dalton. Listen, All we right. got to do this earlier, man. I work Monday through Fridays. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Right, later, Thank bro. you, Steve. I'll have man. you on soon. Thank you so much. Uh, nice to meet you. Hi, man. Yes. Later, man. Nice to meet you. Later, <clears throat> oh, man. Ski mask, everybody. That was fun. What is, uh, wait, what is going on? I pissed somebody off on Twitter. You did when? Um, today. This bitch, uh, I'm not gonna. Say, I, don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna put her on blast. So you're not apologizing, but... I see. No, no. It was this bitch I did a titty review on a while back, and oh, she. I was gonna ask if anyone ever got mad. I've had like three women get kind of like uncomfortable about it. This is one of them. But she's a fucking idiot because like she's always posting pictures of her fucking jugs, you know, out, you know, her her cleavage or fucking titty meat showing, and um. I did a, I did a video on her and posted it and she was like this is really fucking weird and I was like well can't win them all and then uh today she posted something about that uh there was a guy uh like a month or two ago who when Sydney Sweeney did that hot ones interview he <laughs> he clipped he got a clip of her saying something like I really do is that's all she's saying in the clip is like, I really do. And he posted that with the caption that said, like, when I when I pull the duct tape off of her mouth and say, Yeah, you like that, huh? That was and then she's going, I really do. <laughs> and it pissed off like thousands of people. It was an account that had like 80 wow. followers and it went viral, and there was just thousands of people that were like Oh, I guess you could just be a rapist on Twitter now. And I was like, can people not tell that this is a joke? That like this is not a true statement of intent All or right, something. I like, gotta find this. Yeah. Um look up it's the account. Twitter, right? Well, no, I was or no, did I I think I did quote tweet it. Let me see. Oh, here we go. Um it's the account is Rudy Campbell at Rudy B. Campbell. And let's see. Yeah, he still only has like 300 followers. <laughs> and this this tweet has 19 million views. <laughs> Dude, this thing was so viral. And this was back in January. It's January 27th is when he tweeted this. And then this one bitch, I guess because Sydney Sweeney just hosted SNL, this one bitch like dug this back up and posted like some diatribe about guys. Wait, that's who... Sydney Sweeney, right? Yeah. Okay. There's one this one bitch that I follow who I did a titty video on. She posted some diatribe about how guys uh like to be violent against women because they whatever. And I just commented, I said, I think he's doing a bit. I think this is a bit. And then some some like simp in her comments responds something, and then she goes, Oh, this is the guy who uh recorded and posted a video about my quote big Jewish tits. <laughs> He probably would think this is funny. Like, and I was, yeah, she got big Jewish tits. <laughs> and I was like, hey, I'm sorry you didn't like the video, but you know, this is how I make my living. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so it just, it just pissed her off and all of the fucking guys who want to fuck her. And then there's like all these people who are like, jokes about sexual violence and sexual assault are never funny. And it's like, this is like such an innocuous, it's not even like the way it's structured is also indicating that you, this is more of a, uh, this, the, that there is consent to this, that she's enthusiastic about what's happening. That's more of a role play bondage, you know, maybe a CNC consensual non-consent type fantasy. God, her jugs are huge. She has great jugs. Sydney Sweeney has very nice jugs. <sighs> um... But yeah, I mean, it's like you know, people get people get fucking pissed about nothing now, and this bitch. And by the way, by the way, this fucking bitch is like she's uncomfortable about so somebody commenting on it, doing a five minute video about her titties. But it's like, well, stop posting your fucking jugs on the internet that way. Like you draw, like she's posting them in a very provocative way. It's not like she's being modest or subtle. She's putting them front and center and showcasing her fucking tits. 
And it's like, well, if you don't want this kind of attention, bitch, don't do this. You know, show a little fucking modesty. You know, your parents didn't raise you this way. That's why I do titty videos for, sex. you know, mostly like sex workers, OnlyFans girls, girls who want that kind of attention. You ever thought I, about I, some for charity? Like if some... Uh, <clears throat> like know. orphan orphan titties? Little orphan titty? No, like maybe like one boob or like uh, old boob. I don't know. It's just, it's just like, it's like women's women's brains, like women love attention, and it's it's like so funny to me that there's like all these women on Twitter who are constantly posting like thirst traps and stuff to like get the attention of guys like sexually, but then they they want to have it both ways. They want to also be prudish about it, where it's like if you comment on the if you don't comment the way they want you to, or you don't like have the proper response to just big fat tits in your face. They get upset about it, and it's like, well, yeah, like, come on, like, what do you, what game are you playing? These are titties. They're titties, and I'm but a man. And as a man, I must record a five to six minute uh, diatribe yeah, dissertation. I'm but a man, I am a man Handful looking at some titties. That's all I need. <laughs> Who's tits in my face? <laughs> yeah, I mean, fuck her. I like that's the thing is, fuck is her? like, fuck, fuck her, yeah, fuck her, yeah. fucking little titty fucker, little titty fucker. I'm gonna titty fucker. <laughs> but I mean, it's like you know, if you're gonna commodify yourself in that way, I mean, be ready for a certain kind of response from people. You can't fucking be, be like, I don't understand why guys are so creepy to me. It's like we well, keep posting pictures. Tick, tick, tick. Well, yeah, it's like that's that's their grab. It's like uh, in every picture somehow. Like this is my nephew. He, he you know he just got baptized, but it's like yeah, hits you know. Yeah, they sexualize that. They exploit themselves. They sexualize themselves in this very exploitative way. Okay, well, your and then they and then they them, get right? upset when people like sexualize them. And it's like you didn't have to post this shit. You're meant like you're just desperate for attention. Like you're. Be- you know, you're just trying to get attention, and you it's got like it. Hank, uh, Hank Hill goes to the college, and he's he reads that girl's shirt, and it says, "My face is up here," and she's like, "Pervert." Yeah, yeah, it's like you know, I don't trying to read your. And shirt. It's, it's also like it doesn't even benefit them. Like that's the thing. All the OnlyFans girls I talk to that I follow, respect to them because they're posting this shit, and it's you know, there's a there's a Afghanistan veteran. Uh, but you're not. I'm not stealing valor that's but there's stolen a, valor but when an only hey, girl what was your fucking what was your fucking docket number then my my mos what was your uh, mos huh um who was your staff sergeant fart fartillery what color were his fart, eyes fartillery yeah <laughs> i was in the fartillery um but how so, many push-ups you know, did you have to do in the morning <laughs> all right go ahead we, you know when an only fans girl posts titty pictures there's a pipeline from that post it's on my, Twitter. My pants. Yeah, there's a pipeline <laughs> from those tits to my penis. In my Oops. fucking shorts. In my fucking trousers over here. But, the, you know, there's a pipeline from the titties to her OnlyFans. That's money. But when it's just some bitch studying for her fucking, you know, college degree or whatever. Her fucking And she's on Twitter day. and she's got like 12, 15,000 followers from doing this. Well, it's like there's no material gain to, to be had from this, though. Like, you're just getting followers on social media. And in the long run, it's going to hurt you if you don't want this kind of attention. Because you're going to get you're gonna get a lot of weird dudes like me commenting on it, you know. And then also, like, any future employers that might, like, look at your shit are going to be like, hey, why are there so many pictures of your fucking tits and ass on the internet? You know, we don't want to hire you to, to be a fucking, wow. you know. I don't know who's School's doing the hiring, like, but they sound like a little fag. Yeah, they sound like a little <laughs> fagoots, a little You're pasta, pasta fagool over here. Hey, you got a little pasta fagool in your pants. Yeah, huh? a little, pasta, little, little pasta and beans over he's here. He's a little fettuccine, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's got a fettuccine. He's a bit she's, of an Alfredo. He's got a fettuccine vagina. Yeah, he's got a fettuccine it's vagina. Sideways. <laughs> he's got a fettuccine vagina sideways. Sideways fettuccine vagina. <laughs> no way. <clears throat> Anyway, yeah, I don't know. Fuck them. You know, you can't win them all. But I've won enough. You know, I got a bitch at, you know, who's let me send her pictures, videos of me uh, busting a nut. Uh, that was cool. Shouldn't call her a bitch. She's very sweet. Uh, she has big tits. <clears throat> what are you looking at? My work. Just yeah. 
We can probably wrap this up. Like we've been. No, we don't have to. I'm sorry. No, I mean, well, we just went straight through. We didn't even record a pay a Patreon. Yes, nice. a, a Patreon. I liked it. <laughs> so what happens when you do that? When you record straight through, you just put it on the page. I mean, I could chop it in half, or I can just put the whole thing up and be chop like, and, chop and screwed. <laughs> No, you know what? I'll record something. You know, we can record something else later. Okay. Or, Wednesday? I don't know. Wednesday? Um, yeah, we can do a Patreon on Wednesday. We can do a Wednesday. Or no, 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 no. Wednesday's the Crowder Boys. Tuesday, I'm recording. I am recording something Tuesday with some military guys. Really? Yeah. When are you free on Tuesday? Uh, Eight. In the morning? No, at night. At night? I might work. Maybe okay. something like nine, maybe ten. Do a nice. quick okay. hour. Yeah, do late, a, like later. Do just a Patreon. On Tuesday. Yeah. All right, that'll work. Yeah, so I'll just put this whole thing up. You know, give the people a stuff crust bonus. You know, we got to get the people watching. And the longer a video is, the more money it makes. And then that's, you know, all of us. You, me, if, if Kevin is still uh, alive to do this. <laughs> The channel's yeah. the channel's bumping, dude. I mean, um, what is uh? Well, let's let's check the numbers it's on this. It's bussing. It's bussing. We got twelve hundred eighty-five subscribers. I mean, dude, there's podcast, dude. I look, there's podcasts out there hosted by beautiful, big titty, butt naked women that haven't come close to those numbers. And they've been doing it for like two years now. Some of these like big titty lady podcast that's that's usually fucking money on the internet but these whores they can't figure it out you know we're retarded we're big fat re smelly retards and we've already i mean fucking lapped all these motherfuckers so it's just you know we just keep doing it we keep putting them out there um keep coming up with some ideas um, we, we we get do some riffs here and there you know it's you like you like a like like a good burger, good burger, bad burger. How about a how about okay hot dog? That's you know instead of good burger, it's oh, o yeah. okay hot dog. And well, every uh, hot dog I've had in this fucking state is okay. What's your favorite hot dog? I like Chicago. <clears throat> Swigels. No, I mean like, like what's your favorite style of hot dog? Like Chicago Just regular fucking. Just like a hot dog on a bun with ketchup, and think, mustard. Yeah, ketchup, mustard. You don't like the you don't like the Chicago dog with the pepper and tomato, onion, relish. Sure. If it's just all about the right hot dog. You ever go to Wiener Schnitzel? It's got a snap. You know what I mean? It does have to. I like the it snap. It can't just fall apart. I like the snap. You ever go to Wiener Schnitzel? You ever have a chili dog from Wiener Schnitzel? No. Oh, you should go to Wiener Schnitzel. There's one in that Allen, <laughs> Allen, Texas. Yeah. I think it might be the nearest one to you. I'll go to Wiener Schnitzel's. Wiener Schnitzel's good. And it's the only, like, one of the few fast food hot dog places. Like, this is their specialty is hot dogs. Wiener Schnitzel's good. And they do, you know, like, chili dogs, chili cheese dogs, Polish sausage. Nice. <clears throat> it's It's nice, yeah. Sonic used to have, like, a full hot dog menu. Yeah, like, New York style, Chicago style. Cali style. They had like all these different hot dogs. And I used, used to go. To. Yeah, I used to go and get like just a bunch of those Chicago now dogs. All food tastes like it's a microwave fucking. Sonic fucking blows, dude. Sonic sucks so goddamn much. Well, there's only a couple things you can still get there, but the, the cheddar peppers, which have gone down in quality, but they, you can still get them. And uh, I can know, tell this is what you're passionate about. Ocean water. <laughs> ocean the, water, dude. Yeah. Top. That's a top five beverage right but if there. If you get. If you get anytime I get a fast food burger, I tell them to take off the tomatoes, the lettuce, any vegetation, because it's you're getting fast food quality le uh, vegetables. It depends. Like if I go to Waterburger, it's a yeah, safe all that bet. Shit, get off, get off. Now if I go to Waterburger, I'll get the, I'll keep all the vegetables. Um, a, a burger. I, I usually just don't care. I usually like honestly, I just don't care. A like, tomato has never made a fucking burger better ever. I mean, like, to be to be honest with you, did you see that movie, The Menu? Onions are acceptable. Did you did you watch that movie, The, the Menu? The Menu. No. Yo, it's good. 
the menu is great. It's uh, Anya, Anya Taylor Joel, Anya Taylor Joy, Nicholas Holt, Haley Joel Osman, uh, Haley Joel. No, Anya Logan. Taylor. Sal, please get serious here. It's Anya Taylor Joy, Nicholas Holt, Ray Fines, John Leguizamo. Oh. Um, I forget who else is in it. A bunch of maybe unknowns. Um, but it's about it's about this like group of people that go to a really expensive, fancy ass restaurant with like a tasting menu. So they just. The menu is like pre-decided, whatever. There's a scene in the, I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a scene in the menu where one of the characters cooks a hamburger. And it's like the way this is presented and like the way this burger looks is, I had to go try and make a burger this way. It was like making my mouth water how good this fucking burger looked. And it was just simple. It was just like the burger patty cooked with some onions, American cheese melted, and then and then put on a... You know, on a bun, you and notice I didn't it, eat? do what you didn't you eat. What Bra- I didn't thank do you, this Sal. episode. Thank you, sir. I had one juice box, yeah, juice box. But this burger, you know, it was just a simple burger no vegetables, no condiments, just meat, onions, American cheese. That's how on I a like bun, it. dude. I went and made a burger that way after I saw this movie. It was like, oh, I didn't realize I've been like fucking up burgers my whole life by putting a bunch of fucking shit on them. Yeah, that's what I, that's my whole point. Yeah, it's like is this a simpler burger, like a minimal burger with just like meat, onions, and cheese, Smush and the onions are bit. like cooked with the burger when they're mm-hmm. cooked. You know, people want their fucking shit all fluffed up. It's like you know, smash it down. Yeah, get it all together. Yeah, like putting. And by the way, like the McDonald, did you did you see the founder? Have you ever seen the founder? That's one of my favorite movies. The fa- oh, dude, I fucking love the founder. Founder's yeah. awesome. But that like McDonald's original burgers were just it was just a hamburger and then a cheeseburger and there was no like shit on it. It was like a really simple burger. Remember, like he goes to those guys like when he starts franchising it, and he takes that burger to one of them. He's like, "What the fuck is this?" And there's like a lettuce dude, and shit on that. it. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, "There's fucking lettuce on this burger. It's not a salad." Yeah, I mean, it is like that is he true. Was the, that he was the only one that could have made McDonald's, though, man. Like, he he saw the system they had, and he knew exactly what it, he knew. Like, oh, I think we're done. You still there? 